Hey, oh, Nick. Toss, what's up? Oh, you know, just getting in the spirit of some uh, ass kicking spy action, my man. I like it. Does, did it, does, it, does the spy turn into a bird? <laughs> it doesn't, does it? Because I'm not watching it, if it doesn't. Stand by. <laughs> Spies in Disguise, <laughs> 2019, coming at you. <laughs> Uh, well, no, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Nick Tyson Videotape. It's episode on? number 91. 91. Today, it's very exciting. We're opening a can of worms, if you will. We are. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pinnacle. Like, it's a, it's a flagship. It really is. It's a, it's a you know, a, everyone yeah. knows James Bond. Everybody knows James Bond. Yeah. And we're kind of starting, I guess, well, I don't know if this is a good place to start or not. I guess it is. Um, it's the new generation of Bond, but yeah. we're going to be talking about Casino Royale, yeah. 2006, I believe. Uh, the first of the Daniel Craig Correct, Bonds. 2006, yeah. Uh, so that's going to be very exciting. Directed by Martin Campbell. Martin Campbell. We'll get, we'll get back to him yeah, a little we later. Will. We're good old talk Martin about Campbell. I'm <laughs> not good old Martin Campbell. Oh, yeah, he's, he's hit and miss, that guy. <laughs> He's the definition of hit and miss. Um, oh, but shit. before we do any of that, Nick, why don't you tell everyone where they can uh, find oh. our show? Well, thanks, ladies and gents, for uh, for joining in. Um, you can find us anywhere that you're listening. Obviously, you're listening to us somewhere, whether it be on, on an app or in a car or on YouTube. We're on all of them. And on these places, you can rate, review, uh, like, subscribe. Subscribe is a good one. I like the subscribe. Yeah, Literally click it. a click of a button, man. Click of a button. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we are on all the social media. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram. That's so it. So join in on the fun. That's it. And there's plenty of fun to be had. There is. If you joined in uh, just this week, there was a little uh, nod to the 90s, which me and Ty oh, screw up in, with the Captain Marvel. And I loved it because instead of bringing out another trailer, yes. they went, no, 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 we're going to do something a little different. And they've made a, a website that... that is just pure nineties, like with its. With it. Marvel is so good at this little bit of extended advertising stuff yeah. that they did. Like they, I remember they did, um, they did like an old telemarketing, uh, like an old sh- shopping channel kind mm. of ad for yeah. Guardians Two. Do you remember oh, that? I remember that. And it looked exactly like an old Danos Direct TV. That's I right. mean, or the American equivalent of that. Australians will know Danos, Danos Direct. Direct. <laughs> um, if you were ever up at three a.m. That's true. After too many bongs. I, uh, I, I, <laughs> I have a Danos Direct story. Can uh, yes. I tell it? Yeah. So Danos Direct, I, I never did any. I, I never did anything. And then when I was about, I think I was about sixteen. Yes. The Danos Direct did a Schwarzenegger collection. Oh. I always did collections. You buy Terminator One, right? At, for, for like for, like, no, for a dollar ninety nine for nothing. Yeah. And then if you keep playing installments, so we got the entire Schwarzenegger collection. On VHS. On VHS. Wow. Yeah. And Do you, you still got, have them? And you got one a month. Absolutely. Goddamn loot the idea. Were they were they different artwork and stuff? Or no, was it? hell no. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um but I yeah. thought that would have been really cool if also, it was like yeah. a Dano's direct artwork, <laughs> artwork line. No. Because that'd be But there was pretty... like that's why I've seen Stay Hungry and yes. um uh there were a couple that it didn't have. Like we got Command Com- uh Commando was first, then randomly they'd kick right to the start, so they'd do twins. And, oh, there was, um, so there was no, no there was no there was no chronology no no chronology not at all. To it. so you didn't know what you were getting that made it the best part ah. so when Predator rocked up and Terminator Two you're like it's oh my day. god it's, it's a great, great day great I think the day. Mo- the one that got the most runs was was Terminator Two nice yeah no Conans oh no Conans and no um oh damn it. No, no, we got last Red Sonja. No, Red Sonja. That was the other one, and I was really cut that we didn't get either Conan's or Red Sonja. I was pissed off. So they didn't. They just went all they against went, no, the no, fantasy no, stuff. No, like, yeah. no, no, no. Nobody wants that. No, shit. no one wants that. No Excuse that. me. I know. I Excuse love me. Conan. Please. Yes. What a great movie. So good. Uh, see episode maybe. Oh, it's like eighteen or something. Oh, yeah. It's early days. That's true. With uh, special guest uh, Ben Linter. Yeah. yeah. Hey Ben, what's happening, what's going man? On, ben. God. Yeah. Um, way early days of Nick Tyson videotape. Yeah. Um, I have a VHS story. So Do you? We're just, oh, yeah. I can't so I've awesome. got a weird, uh, I'm, I'm going through a weird phase. I'm buying some VHS again. Oh, oh yeah. really? So Do you have a player, I'll, Tyson? No, <laughs> not at the moment. I will Champion. shortly, though. I mean, they're, yeah. they're easy to come by. Oh, please. It's fine. It's, it's more, I'm just... I'm visiting op shops a lot. Nice. I like it. And so I, uh, in the op shop, I always do the DVDs, CDs, finals, just to just check what's going have on. Have a squeeze. Because you never know what you'll find DVD-wise. Exactly. Like, I've picked up some really fun DVDs that yeah. have just been, like, two bucks. For instance, I got Blind Fury, the oh. Rukahawa, uh He's, like, Zatoshi, Zatoshi yeah. um, kind of rip-off movie mm-hmm. for two bucks on DVD. I'm Golden. like, you know what? That's fine. I'm going to grab I know that. there's a special edition Blu-ray. 
I'll I'll get that at some point. But for two bucks, I'm going to watch Blind Fury. Exactly. Um, But so I've been buying a couple of VHSs of stuff that I think might be hard to come by. Yeah. But there was one that I got, which I only bought because it was a box, right? And because a, of the box? Because or, of the box. Right, right. So it was a three VHS box Ooh. of Pacino movies. Oh. And it had um, Number one. Sea of Love. Yep, haven't seen it. Um, God, Send- Scarface. Scarface, okay, everyone's seen and it. And... Woman. No, it no. was like it, they were all these like adult. I think it might have been Carlito's Way. Oh yeah, I think Carlito's I Way. I own it. I still haven't watched but it. But the box is yeah. this like hand drawn. Like I mean, it's obviously a print, but it's this drawn picture of Pacino. What? Like in a in a weird suit doing like a uh, a kind of like a gun thing, like a James Bond. Speaking of James Bond, right? Except he's drawn like he's six foot four. <laughs> What? It's so I need, I need weird. You to show me so he's got these really like this huge legs and torso. Yeah. But with Pacino's head. And it looks so strange because you know we know Pacino's like five foot nothing. Yeah. It's <laughs> I couldn't pass it up. It was three dollars. Oh and I was pretty happy with that purchase. That means that Scarface was a dollar. Yeah, I got Scarface on VHS for a dollar. Right. And do you know what? Some Scarface. of these movies are kind of fun to watch on VHS. Yeah, man. Because they t- send me back to video store days when I first saw a lot of these movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so I'm I'm kind of I'm okay with VHS. Those 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 of you born before uh, you know, after two thousand you don't know the you know, we had to rewind our films, god damn it. We did. Rewind, we were kind. Rewind be- <laughs> And we rewound. That doesn't work if doesn't, you put it in past tense. Doesn't, doesn't at all. But that's okay. <laughs> um, shall we? Um, shall we talk some trailers? Yeah, let's do that now. Right. Everybody's talking trailers. trailers. All right. Well, after okay. that little tangent we went on, that's gold. I like it. What are we going like to talk about tangents. first, Nicholas? Let's. Um. Oh God. Let's do Shaft. <laughs> shaft. Can you dig it? Hi, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm looking for Chef. Mm-hmm. Who's asking? John Chef Junior, your son. My son. Junior? Yeah. You know they say that cat Shaft is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Ignore him. He thinks he's a black James Bond. That dude was real. He think he was me. If you go pursue this investigation, I'm gonna have to babysit your ass. Damn! Oh, look at here! How long has it been? Hmm, never long enough. Lady Syphilis, Madam Chlamydia, it's lovely to meet you both. That's Junior's mama. She a little bitter. Please tell me that you did not get our son involved in your bullshit. What is wrong with you? You picked up a bat. You can't beat up a woman. Why not? Because she's a woman. That's like. Misogynistic. You the one being misogynistic. I ain't mentioned her gender. Okay. I'm an equal opportunity ass whooper. Oh, damn. Oh, there's no non violent people in Harlem. Who's the black private dick if that's a sexy machine to all the chicks? You damn right. Sash, you okay? Yeah. Boy, back in the day, we didn't need guns. All we needed was our bare knuckle. Damn, Grandpa! Oh, you can't be too prepared. All right, okay. So let's, uh, yeah, let's let's discuss Shaft. Shaft. Okay. I feel weird as Australians. This is one of those <laughs> saying films shaft. saying Shaft <laughs> sounds really dumb. But if I say Shaft, if you say Shaft, I don't it's, know. Um, I you're feel, like, oh, that's badass. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but is I it? can't pull it off. There's no <laughs> Shaft. You gotta, you gotta. We gotta sing it every shaft. time. Yeah. So what we have here, let's uh, let's start with Nick. Do you, what do you think of the two thousand and one? Is okay, it 2001 I think it's two thousand one. Yeah, uh, um, the, it, the remake. It wasn't a, it wasn't a remake. It, wasn't a remake. Though, it was just um, it was Samuel L. Jackson does shaft like it was another generation of, yes. sh- of shaft. So um, I I remember watching it, and I to be honest, I, I thought I remember being okay. I remember that it was two thousand. I remember Christian Bale was in it. Christian Bale is the villain. He's the villain, yeah. yeah. And he uh, plays a bit of a. I remember the scene where they're in a restaurant and Shaft's in the restaurant, and he, Christian Bale is yeah kind of throwing insults at him from across the restaurant, right? And he picks up a napkin, cuts two slits in it, and puts it on top of his head. Like a Ku Klux Klan oh. hat. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is, I this is that risque. Bit. This is badass. And then I remember it just dying in the ass. And then that's all I remember. I don't remember enjoying it very much. Right. I'm, I'm just amazed now to f- discover that it was actually John Singleton, the director. Yes. That's wild. 
Um, I do remember that. And oh, so sh- so Samuel L. Jackson is the nephew of the original Shaft. Yes. So now we have. So now we have Samuel L. Jackson yep. and his son. Yep. And the classic Richard Roundtree. So we have three so we generations have three of generations. Shaft. <laughs> You can't say that. It's, it's all of it's bad, isn't Three it? Three generations of a veiny shaft, and oh. you're, um, you're, you're, <laughs> you're uh, but I don't know what this movie's trying to do, Nick. Like, I know. Well, it's it's a when we watch the trailer, Tice, it's it's coming off as a comedy, it's, man, and they're going full comedy with the, it. The original shaft was definitely not. It had elements of yeah, it, it had, it had but, this tongue in cheek element because it was so heavily black exploitation. Yeah. But they all had that kind of yeah. But this just know, looks a flat out. This comedy. looks like a flat out comedy. Like I was, I was saying to you before, it looks like a, a Friday movie with yeah. except Ice Cube <laughs> playing not, shaft. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I just don't understand oh, what they're trying to do with this because that two thousand one, it's pretty serious. Like they, they yeah. played it really just down the line. They did, and yeah. maybe look. And it that, was quite depressing. I remember in parts you're like, oh, this is messed up. Like things weren't looking up yeah. in the movie. No, and it's it's even the the um, cinematography and stuff it's really dark and it was like mm. desaturated and stuff yeah. like they went for that kind of gritty realism gritty realism yeah. which you know sometimes works sometimes doesn't yeah it just looks like they've gone the complete opposite way now yeah this is I just mean, full colors it this could is... be it could be kevin hart and and chris tucker you know like I, i'm not quite I'd sure pay, i'd actually pay to see that version better probably because i love kevin hart yeah yeah and um like so i don't know I what's don't going know. on i didn't enjoy this trailer very no, much neither did I. I was the coats look uh, weird. The coats look weird. Yeah. Uh, we I should have realised when the poster came out and it had that awful pun on it about... <laughs> Which was gold. Um, can what, you say it again? I can't Is it remember. too much shaft? Is not enough? No. Hang the, on, what you can it? never get enough shaft or That's something. Is. is that what it is? Is that what it is? Hang on, let's have a look. More shaft than you can handle. <laughs> I should have realised when that was the tagline that they're going for full that comedy. it was going to be this kind of film, which is disappointing because I think really... We, you could have balanced a bit of comedy into like a cool, just kind of black exploitation throwback. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it could be. Do you think they asked Bosman to do it, and he was like, <laughs> "Yeah, no, man, I'm I'm a bit more highbrow than that." Who? Bosman. Chad- Chadwick. Oh, Chadwick Bosman. Bosman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was yeah. like, I was like, who are you talking about? Yeah. The King uh, of Wakanda, man. Yeah, look, I mean, yeah. he's in something coming up that I don't think we talked about last week. And it really, was, it sounded really cool. Okay. Um, yeah, who's this? I know this guy. What's he from? I don't know him. He's. I've definitely seen him before. You've seen him before. And okay. The cast looks strong. Like, don't get me wrong, I, but I just don't understand what what we're trying to do. Like, okay. how much are we taking away from the legacy of this character? Which if, is not. If don't do if this. Yeah. Well, if this trailer looks like it could be a yeah a Will Farrell movie. Like, yeah. So Jesse T. Usher is uh, Shaft Junior. Yeah. You would know him from Independence Day. Ah, uh, yes. Is it yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's that's all. That is definitely I would, I would what I from. recognize him from. But um, but yeah, I especially because I think that when I watch Shaft, because I know it's a black black exploitation film, it's it, it would have meant something back in the day. Do you know what I mean? Like when when Roundtree's One came out, it would have been a big deal. Yeah, you know? yeah. So now like, I mean, the, the, fun the, the that, social though. context of it, we can't we can't really understand, no. and but we can appreciate from a distance, I think, and Absolutely. kind of. But this, yeah, I don't I don't understand what this is trying to do. This is just not. Um, and we, we know, we like Samuel Jackson is not the greatest comedic actor. Like he's been in comedies before, and he's not terrible. But whenever he's headline in a comedy. It's not great. Headlined, Headla- headlined, headlined a comedy. Oh, headlined. Um, yeah. yeah, that's the word. That's the um, word. I, all I can think of is that bloody the what's the there was formula formula fifty one. That's the one that comes to mind. I'm like that was so shit. And what's the one with Eugene Levy, <laughs> the, oh, really? the man or something? Oh yeah, the man. I remember that. He's, and I never watched it, but no, I remember the cover. well, no, because it looked hideous. No one watched it. That's why. No, yeah, actually, no one on earth recorded a zero zero at, on box office merger. <laughs> Zero, but he does anything, Samuel L. Look, he's the you know, he'll he, chuck it he everything. He works. We know he works. He works. He works in anything. Like, but he, I don't understand that guy. This guy but mustn't ever say no to stuff because he's basically in three movies a year. But he's got chops. As if he doesn't, he oh, has chops. No one denies like, that at like he all. Can, he's done some really decent stuff. I remember one one movie that um that Sam made me watch, and I was like, "There's no way that this is going to be good." And I'm going to have to scroll because I forget the, the the name of it. But it was it was really good, and I forget it had um, uh, what is her name? She's the recent or older. No, it's older. It's two thousands ish. 
Mm. It's uh, it's got um. Considering he's been in four thousand. Yeah, no, I know. Um, it's going to take me a while. Just keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> it's not that one eight seven. I like one eight seven. You like one eight? Do you like one eight seven? Well, I liked it when I saw it in like nineteen ninety seven oh, or whatever because okay. it was edgy and I was a yeah. teenager and I thought ah! it was cool. <laughs> Remember SWAT? What happened to SWAT? Man? SWAT. SWAT. How good was SWAT? I enjoyed SWAT. Da-na-na, it's pretty dumb, da-na-na. but it was dumb as hell. But it was, it was it fun. Was all right. Yeah. Well, anything's better than fifth. What was it? Formula. Was it Formula Fifty One? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There, I feel like there was another... See, I rate mm. The Negotiator. I know you don't, but I really do. I, I think to be quite negotiator... honest, I, I couldn't tell you how long it's been since I've seen The Negotiator. The Negotiator and I think is I, such a great film. It's just one, That's one of those movies that if I need a random movie from the 90s to make a joke about... Oh, really? It would be something like The Negotiator. Cause really? Because everyone knew about it for about two weeks, and then no one's ever thought about it since. Is it called Freedom Land? Freedom no, Land. It can't be Freedom Land. It was with oh, what is her name? Hillary Swank's in Freedom, Freedom Land. Land? No, I think. no, it's not Hillary Swank. No, she's in Freedom Riders. Freedom I'm, Riders. I'm getting this wrong. Right, right, right. Oh, this is hurting me now. Yeah. See now. See now we're well past. We're the well time. past the time. Because now I'm just I'm filling. <laughs> I'm just kind of coming I up know with you some are. filler. I know. Here we go. Here we go. I think it is this. Yeah, it was Freedom Land. Okay. With um, the actress I was trying to think of was Julianne Moore. Oh, so, okay. uh, uh, yeah, that was really good. Okay. And the acting, that was intense. Yeah, right. Got no, no one saw that. Straight, straight to DVD. And everyone, you know, mm. everyone bagged it out. But it was really DVD. Good. DVD. <laughs> um, See how good a movie at home can be. Well, look, Nick, this Sharp has not size? done much for me. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. If right. anything, it's kind of turned me around even more. I wasn't really? keen, and now you know I'm not keen. Exactly. I was keen. When we mentioned it in, in the upcoming 2019, I forgot that it was this close. But um, And I was in with more shaft than you can handle, but now I'm definitely out. <laughs> Seeing the trailer, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to watch the 2000s, yeah. and uh, that's it. I'll let them see. Look, the second trailer, if they turn it around, and it's maybe they just were trying to paint it as a comedy, and yeah. then there's a, and people are like, don't, don't do that, and now they kind of tone it down a little bit. Yeah. Um, you never know, but for me, it seems like yeah, they're playing a really broad comedy. Yeah, um, you're gonna watch a Tim Story movie, are you? Well, Tim Story. I mean, I, mean, I think I've only ever seen two Tim Story movies. <laughs> um, <laughs> Golden. All right, should we move on? Yeah, I think we should move on. Yeah. What's next? Next up, Child's Play, the remake. At Caslon, we believe that happiness is about more than entertainment. It's about being known, understood, loved. Introducing your new best friend. People, let me tell you about my best Good. All right. So, so shall nice. we? Shall we? Let's, uh, let's let's play it while we talk. Yeah. Now, why don't we? We've just... mentioned we mentioned in our upcoming uh, see last episode up, uh, coming soon two thousand nine. Yes. Well, all we had then was that promo that that thing we that did, you showed which during was a, the, um, a, uh, the the Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah. Which, which was, was like, a. A great ad. I loved it. Anything, it was. It was anything clever. Anything that doesn't have movie cut into it, yeah. I'm all for. And so now we've got an actual trailer. We can see what we're going for. Yep. Um, I think it's kind of like they're drawing attention to it, but at the same time, not really addressing it. They're just no. They're just kind of going, oh, yeah, we understand that not many people buy dolls anymore in this world, <laughs> but just go with it. And I'm like, okay, yeah. well, already... Yeah, you're kind of. Well, made, that's where they're. You're, you're telling me that I, there's something about this that seems weird, but you're not addressing it in any way, except exactly. for the fact that apparently Chucky might be some kind of like Alexa style thing. Exactly, I think that's where they're going with it. Like this thing, this Chucky, you can you know pop in an iPod, and I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you know. can, if you, if I tell you what, if I could change. Uh, Google's name or Alexa's name to Chucky. To Chucky, really? I'd have a lot You'd more fun that? with that. You'd go for that. Yeah, and they they were very. Or if Siri had the voice of Brad Dourif. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd also be okay with that. No, if I could change Siri to to um, 
Anyway. Um, Alan Rickman. No, not Alan oh. Rickman. Oh, Alan Rickman. R.I.P. No. Um, no, I want to change him to Jarvis. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, nice. Please. Yeah. Her to Jarvis, sorry. Um, but this isn't showing Chucky. You don't get in the, This is a very first trailer nope. tease. We only you're getting, see some you're getting, silhouettes. Yeah, you're getting... The kid gets the doll, yep. but you're, getting, you're not getting a lot. You're not getting... Oh, you know those classic... Oh, did the doll move? No, it didn't. Okay, no, kind of no. take it easy. Oh, now it's moved. You know the classic shot where they show the doll... You see them turn around and then they look it back again and the dollars move. Oh, like, of course, yeah, classic, you know, classic. <laughs> but um, but you don't get any of that in no. this. No, I actually, I don't understand that. It's not like we don't know what Chucky looks like. <laughs> I know, right? And y- what unless you're going to make him different looking, well, what are they going to do? Like, whatever you show us, we'll just be like, oh yeah, it's Chucky. Like, yeah. you don't need to hide Chucky from us. Yeah. It's not like It's the this... red hair and the rainbow yeah. skivvy. It's not this fabled comic book character or literary mm. character that we've only ever imagined in our, you know, in our heads. Yeah. Or and we've not... never seen on a, on, a, on a big screen before that we finally get a glimpse of. Mm. It's fucking seven movies or exactly. some shit. And Just go watch like, them. Not like when they remade... Like, when, uh, the thing that it reminds me of is when they remade A Nightmare on Elm Street, which I was I was a big advocate of until I saw it you at saw the it. cinema. <laughs> I saw it at the cinema and fuck me. What a piece of shit. I think a lot of people were a big advocate for that until they saw it. But only because I thought they were going to go for the story of Fred Krueger, the origin story. Fred yeah. Krueger, the, the child killer, into... Uh, uh, Freddy Krueger, the the dream the dream master, um, but but with that, like when that movie came out, the the new nightmare on Elm Street, mm. everyone was like, oh, I wonder what he looks like. What are they going to change? You know, things like that. And he looked like a bit more of a Burns victim. Yeah, and they changed him up a bit. But I think you this saw is, that in the is, first trailer, exactly. Didn't you? you did. You got glimpses of it, and you were aware. Okay, you were like, cool. Oh, we're seeing something right, a little bit right. different. Exactly. But that was also because that was an actor playing it. Yeah. Like so, you had to. You were going to see a different iteration of it. Like so, there was there was always. Uh, it was inherent to the to the product that you mm. were getting something different. Exactly. What, what are you going to do with this? This is a doll, and the doll has a design. Yeah. Even if you change certain things, like they're not going to make it not have red hair because yeah, that's, a, that's, that's an idiot's move. Yeah. They're not going to make it have a different, like it's not going to not, not have not the have rainbow, rainbow t-shirt Yeah. because, because then it's not a... chucky anymore. Exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't, like, just show us the fucking doll. <laughs> I thought, just, oh, the just whole time I was watching, I was like, doll. why is it in shadow? Why know, are we why doing are you not this? Showing us... what, what game are you playing here? Yeah, I don't get it. Um, I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, look, I mean, this the, the trailer doesn't really do much in terms of what kind of horror, horror movie it is. It is. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. I don't know if, I'm, if we're... I thought maybe if we they wanted to go away from what um, Don Mancini's doing with, mm. with his own series, that maybe they'd go really, like, intense with it. Yeah, so like, do like an Evil Dead. Because when they yes, remade that, like the that way they was remade, not, yeah, that was it a took away all the comical elements whatsoever. Exactly. And just You're watching went, a hard fucking horror. Yeah, like balls it's going to be a hard watch. Um, and that, speaking of that, that is, that is intense. That oh, I didn't mind that. That was um, not bad. It was that okay. Was a bit fun. Um, but this, I don't know what's going so, on. So, yeah, I don't know. It just, it, this, it looks like the kind of movie that would have come out in 2002. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you're so double right. Double build with Valentine. Exactly. Like, oh, wow, Valentine. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, spot on. I just, I don't see its merit. I don't see the point. This I feel bad for Aubrey Plaza because I like no her. Money. No money. I I'm not a fan know. of Aubrey Plaza, but I, I, I almost, I'm about six episodes from finishing the entire series of Parks and Rec. And you and still are not a fan no, no, of no, Aubrey. No, 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 I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Okay. I'm just going to say, you know, nothing. Oh, for shame. <laughs> That's all right. Um, well, and you know, there's like there's the occasional shot that I'm like that could lead to an interesting set piece. There's a little shot where yeah, you can see that something a, a plank of wood is rising and she's hung up to it and stuff like yeah. that. And yeah, look, yeah. That, there might be some nice set piece ideas in that, but I'm getting nothing from this. And mm. I yeah, not that I was not that I had high hopes for it, but no, we didn't. No one's watching this. It just doesn't. I'd look rather good. see. I'd rather see. Is it the sixth one that he's bringing out? Uh, he just bought out the seventh one last seventh. year. Okay, seventh. I'd rather see that. Oh, hang on, I might be making that up. No, no, seventh. Six. It was the seventh. Okay. Yeah, because you've got Three, bride. Bride is seed, and bride, bride is um four. Yeah. Seeds five. Uh, cult. Cult. Hang on. I have no idea. There's two cult and something else. So yeah, he's up to seven now. Tune in um, to Nick Tyson video tape where they look up shit. On, well, we uh, look up shit on IMDb. On IMDb. Well, you, not like you could do this in your comfort of your own home. Exactly. You, you come let, on. Listen come to on. us feed it into you your ear You need us holes. to do it for you, don't you? Um, yeah, I am fine. Yeah, look. I'm Let's gonna... go and watch the old ones, Nick. Let's exactly. do it. Exactly. I'd love to do that, Tice. Um, I'm going to... I'll talk to my... I'm sure my friend Rob Dog, whether... Because my friend uh, li- who listens to the podcast, mm. he watches all horrors. Great. No matter what it is. Yeah, great. And he, I'm sure he'll watch this. 
Uh, did you see, just on a brief side note, Ooh. there was a new trailer for the the La Lona or whatever, and we talked about the oh, first trailer no. for that. I didn't. Um, yeah, any good? Well, it like a little bit more. It's, a, it's much more of a generic trailer. Like it's just okay. it gives a, it's more more plot orientated, and it's it turns out it might just be kind of like a a kind of average haunted house movie. Oh. But <laughs> the design, uh, I still like. There were still some scares in it for some yeah. reason. I don't know what it is. Something about La Lorna. La Lorna really scares me. That's right. I don't know what it is. Bring it on! I can't Terrifying. wait. I can't wait. Um, well, anything's better than fucking remake of Child's Play. Yeah, bad idea. Bad idea. Fire the, whoever thought of this. He should get fired. It's it's. <laughs> whoa, that's a bit intense. Or like demoted. It's a it's he a boardroom. It's a boardroom. You know it is. It's a yeah, boardroom going. It made a lot of money. A lot of money. So let's go and let's. Do you know what I'd love to see? Go let's, back to Stephen give King. Me a, give me a forty mil adaptation of Tommy Knockers. Or something, oh, okay. you know what all I mean? Right, all right. Like, if you want to tap that well, go yeah. for it. But there's a there's a there's a, there's a massive well, and there's a, it's a it is a deep well <laughs> of bad adaptations of Stephen King stuff. What horror movie would is Tommy? Not what horror movie would you like to see remade? Like, mm. what do you think could? Because I, to be honest, I think still for me, I think they've still got it, a Nightmare on Elm Street. They could do it well. They could still remake they it. They could think. still, because that character is there, because the law of Nightmare on Elm Street is so good. Yeah, for sure. That's that's mine anyway. Um, Well, give me a fuck. You know what? Give me a R rated Gremlins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad. That could be fun. Yeah. I mean, don't, but also don't touch don't it. Rec- don't wreck yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. It's always so hard because, you, you know, you don't want them to do one that you love, but then if you didn't like it, you kind of don't want to go around the bend again. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of, it's it's hiding that, it's finding that weird balance mm. of a movie that had potential but wasn't realized. Exactly. And Which is why I'm scared of the, I think it's coming out this year, I'm not sure, the Dark Crystal TV series. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So this is this is going to be some... That could be really interesting. It could, but yeah. you don't fuck up my child. I'm going to hurt you. Yeah, you know? that's fair. That's, it's a, that's a beautiful film. You sound like one of those George Lucas Look, I, yeah, uh, yeah. weirdos. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, I, maybe I am. <laughs> oh, God bless those guys. All bless right. them. You keep doing your new thing, guys. Yeah, yeah. Keep fighting the good fight. Oh, don't. Seriously. Um, I reckon we should move on to Feature Preds, my man. Da-da-da-da. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. And now for our feature presentation. Your file shows no kills. But to become a double O, it takes two. How did you die? Your contact? Not well. You needn't worry. The second is... Yes. Considerably. The man was Le chief, private banker to the world's terrorists, which would explain how he could set up a high-stakes poker game at Casino Royale in Montenegro. If he loses this game, he'll have nowhere to run. You're the best player in the service. The Treasury has agreed to stake you in the game. But if you lose, our government will have directly financed terrorism. I will be keeping my eye on our government's money and off your perfectly formed house. You noticed. I hope our little game isn't causing you to perspire. It doesn't bother you killing those people. Well, I wouldn't be very good at my job if it did. How's our girl melted your cold heart yet? James, get the girl out. You're not going to let me in there. You've got your armor back on. I have no armor left. You've stripped it from me. Whatever is left of me. Whatever I am. I'm yours. The only question remains. Will you yield? In time?
All right, here we are. James Bond. James Francis Francis Bond. Bond. I love that you go to Francis. <laughs> That's hilarious. I feel like he'd have a Francis. very, a very like uh, frilly middle name. Okay, yeah. James Olivia Bond. Yes, no, exactly. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know something like that. Olivia. I, I said the wrong name. It's a female name. I like the idea of a of a female middle name. A, in a guy's name. name? Yeah, it's, yeah. I reckon it's really cool. Alexandria. Oh, Alexandretta. Moving on, um, James Bond, Tice. This is a uh, this is a big one. So it we, is. we picked Casino Royale. Um, it was a bit, it is, was a bit in haste, to be honest. Um, it was, yeah. Well, if I mean, if anyone's been following on the the episode description, you would see that we had a different plan for tonight's episode, which we are moving to next week. So that's stick true. around; that's going to be very exciting. We'll yep. talk more about that later. Yep. But it meant that we had to kind of go. Oh well, what on do we fly? want to do this week? What do we want to do? And we had talked about starting our James Bonds. A lot. That's and true. And we were always going to start with Casino Royale. I think it was always the I one think we it was to a, start yeah, with. Yeah, Because um, ga- Casino's a game changer. It like, was a big, game, a big changer. game changer. And as much... I don't know. Would you call... I think we're kind of in that middle generation where we're old enough to remember when Goldeneye came out at the cinema. Which was huge. Which was... Because we were probably a little young for Timothy Dalton stuff. Uh, yeah, we would have been was. like eight, nine yeah. when he's came out. Well, Goldeneye yeah. was where I heard of Bond. I knew yeah. Bond from And so that. Goldeneye was our big excitement. But yeah. having said that, I think I'm, I'm much more invested in this iteration of Bond than yeah. I was those ones. Pierces, yeah. Me um, too. Me even too. Though I've even seen though I've seen all of, of Pierces yeah. and I've seen all of, of Craig's. I haven't seen... Quantum of Solace. Quantum? And I right. haven't seen Spectre. Oh, right. Yeah. So the two really shit ones. This is the one. Well, and it's because I was <laughs> like, heard I've just stuff. heard that they were really? not very good. And right. so I wasn't really. Okay. Like, and because they're self contained stories generally, mm. you know, and they have elements that carry on from other ones. And apparently yeah. that's a big problem with Spectre is that they rely too heavily on what has come before. Correct. Um, so and, I don't feel the sh- need to watch what might be a bad. James Bond movie. Right. I can kind of, I figure I'll get around to it at some point. And if someone says, "Oh, hey, it's a really good one," like Skyfall, I saw in the cinema, I was <sighs> straight there. Same. Um, week week one. And I love Skyfall. I think it's Skyfall. So it's fantastic. But Not I just a Bond, just a great film. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing. I didn't feel like I needed because I saw Skyfall before I saw Casino Royale. I didn't feel like what? I needed. Yeah, I'm pretty new to Casino Royale. Wow, yeah. really? So I didn't feel like I needed. Like, I don't feel like I missed anything no. by not having that awareness. No, of course not. So I don't really mind so much that so my Bond that knowledge first... is pretty scattered. Oh, so your first Craig was Skyfall. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. No, that was there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, so, right, and I'd, so right. I'd seen, I'd seen this, this viewing of Casino Royale was yeah. the first full sit-down watch. I'd watched bits of it on DVD before because oh, okay. Dad had the DVD, and yeah. I'd watched um, Good on your day. like I'd watched it in chunks before, and yeah. I don't think I'd ever sat down and watched the whole oh, thing. Oh, nice. Um, because it's a slog. It it's is the, long. It's the. I think it's the longest. It's it's four minutes. Yeah, something I, I read by something. Spectre was is now the longest, yeah. but it was the longest Jesus, before then. Spectre longer. Jesus. Yeah, oh, that's um, just horrible. And I look. I'd argue, Nick. Oh, maybe, maybe about twenty to twenty-five minutes. Too, too long? long. Yeah. Oh, correct. There is some dead air in in the that, in the and to its detriment too. I think. Yeah. I really. I mean, it's, it's you know, who cares what order we're talking about it. No. I think the last 20, 25 minutes of this movie... Yeah. Can be is, cut short to, to, is, to f- at least 11 minutes. Well, yeah. Yeah. And is arguably pretty bad, too. It's not great. I, I will agree with you there. I just think that they're, sh- they're trying something new with Bond. They're making him... They're making him have a heart. And, and you're seeing him before he turns full double O. Um, so, yeah, for sure, you know for I mean? sure. It's so, funny, like, so you're seeing him. Uh, the reason why he's such a cold, a cold bastard, and doesn't and doesn't get invested anymore in the women that he meets. So, and I think that they were trying to do something different with him. Actually, maybe you know, falling in love. A lot of people say, no, no, no it was all heist. He he knew what he was doing the whole time. I've, I've read a lot of that. That's fine. He sure. knew what he was doing. I know, right? Um, but then the, the uh, that, I know it that makes argument holds point. zero water. Exactly. Um, but I don't I don't agree with that. I I, I believe that what they were trying to do it was just a little bit too long. That's all. They didn't need the beach scene. They didn't need a couple of scenes in there. You know, have it go from the boat, him quitting, and then the hotel room where she goes to the bank. You didn't need anything else. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is that it feels like a coda that is never ending. Mm. And so while I'm sitting there and I had never seen that part because th- there right. is obviously no reason to watch that part yeah. I don't think. Like <laughs> this this movie if 
I, I started mean, writing notes in that part. <laughs> well, that's it. I wrote most of my notes during that part because that was what I found most of the problems and it made me reflect back on what else was what I yeah. wanted to talk about. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like that it, – it, while you're watching that, I had this really strange feeling of like I'd started another movie. Oh, right. You really? know what I mean? Like, because yeah. I'd, I'd gotten a conclusion. Because it's I'd such a clear ending. ending. Yeah. It felt really nice and really contained mm. and made sense. And it was like, um, it happens a lot when I see musicals, because obviously mm. I see quite a few musicals, yeah. where uh, act ones in musicals tend to be very long. Right. right. It's, just, yeah. it's just the way they're written that yeah. generally act one is longer than your act two. Yeah. There's odd cases where that's not the case, mm-hmm. but it's, you know, that's just what it is. And that's so, it but you're watching a, and you get to that kind of mark where you know that interval is coming. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, if it, you've it seen gets a to about an before, hour, you know what's going on. And yeah. so, and there happens to be like a big number happening, a big kind yeah, of full man. ensemble number. And you look at your clock and go, oh, it's been oh, about sure. an hour five, hour 10. Yep. This is probably the song before interval. And they pose yep. and applause yep. and the lights stay down and another scene starts. <laughs> and, you're like, and you go, oh, well, okay. what the fuck else have we got to do before it's interval? And right. that's what I, I thought, that's what I felt wine, about okay. while I was like watching this movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Put down my glass of wine because I'm not ready to fucking go get the top up yet. <laughs> that's how I felt when this, I was like, I'd felt an ending. Right. And I just had to sit there and wait going, what's going on? What's going on? You, yeah. How much longer the do I have to watch this? The drags. Drags a bit. Is that the second act though? Or is it the start of the third? It feels like a fourth act. I'm going to be honest with you. It, it feels, feels like, a like a fourth act. Really? Yeah. Because I think the, I think the the, I think the first act ends with one of the. Gr- oh, we're going to start with action sequences in a minute, but ends around the the at the airport. Oh yeah, yeah. And the the start of the second act starts at the at the at the card game. Yes, yeah. yeah. You could call the entirety of the the card game mm. the second act, I guess. But yeah. I feel like it has a pretty strong finale as well. It's just mm. it it isn't a good one for our hero. Yeah. Like but in and I don't wanna I don't wanna get narky to film for making its narrative choices because that's that's what the movies do. Yeah, yeah. But for me, as soon as they killed the sheaf and it became a, a different movie, mm. I was far less invested. Yeah. Because I really loved their little tit yeah. tat with each other. Like, it was so And the sheaf great. had him. And you were like, because you're expecting, if, you, if you've if you seen any Bonds before, you're like, oh, okay, so how does James get out of this one? And how does, you know, you're going to see Le Chief get away. Mm. And then we're going to find him, and, and, the, and then the third act's going to kick in. But the, yeah, know, there was but some kind of... Happen. And, and we're, we, our villain, our... We had we didn't yeah. have a villain no, for the, the villain last switches, yeah. forty minutes of the well thirty minutes maybe of the movie. Mm-hmm. We didn't have a villain that we had any connection with whatsoever because it was just this random dude that had just popped up every now and then and shot a dude. Yeah, and we didn't know anything about him. We didn't care about him at all. No, I didn't. He didn't really have as as an as a as a performer. He didn't really have any kind of gravitas, so no. he didn't make an impact in those very small amounts of scenes, scenes he, was, he was in. Yep. Which is the start scene. In, is that him at the start? That's in the black the and white start? section? Yep. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not him. No, no, no. Uh, when Le Chief goes to the... Is it an African country? And picks up the money? That's him in the background. Him starting to talk. Him going, no, 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 my employer will be with you in a minute. When in yep. fact, he's the employer. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that yep. was him. Um, who's the guy at the start in the black and white section? I don't think he matters. I don't he doesn't know matter? Matters. No, no, okay, no. cool. Because what, and now that you've brought this up, I love that section because this was the big, um, now this is coming, coming off the back. You've got to remember what was the year? 2000 and I believe it's 2006. Six. Um, so the reason, because they had, they had teed up Pierce for this one. Pierce was ready to go. Right. And all thanks to Jason Bourne and the Bourne identity. And how well that did. Right. They've gone, no, 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 we're, people want something different now. So they got Rita Pierce and recast and made it a grittier Bond. And that's where... My um, mind goes bonkers imagining this movie with Pierce Brosnan in the lead. Yeah, I know. I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see it. But he was too old. He was, he was I'd love to see Pierce pushing, Brosnan trying to do fucking... Gritty, gritty <laughs> no, realism. he was trying to do... What's it called? That stupid oh, running stuff? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> As if he's doing that shit. He's getting in a car and oh just going... And God. telling the driver to yes. drive. That's follow that man. Doing. Yeah, follow that man. Get him. Get him <laughs> over there. Um, and that's why I love it. Like that. And, and 
seeing it for the first time, having watched all, having been a generation that watches, that's watched Sean Connery and all of them and knowing the formula of Bond, because there is a formula. You've got Q, you've got M, you've got Money Penny, and you've had these characters for that long. Mm -hmm. He's going to get gadgets, he's going to get the car, he's, there's a moment where he gets the girl. These things were boxes to tick. And this is the one where, and you, that they were like, no, 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 we're going to tell you that this is completely different. We're going to flip the coin here. And they did it with, um, that black and white scene at the start, mm -hmm. and they did it with Bond's first kill because that was his first kill to make him a double O. And they made it black and white, and that was... You didn't, you didn't get punches like that. You didn't get a kill like that. Bond used to shoot his villain, uh, shoot the, the henchman or whoever. they die, you'd never see any blood. It'd just be, oh, no, they died. You know, that was it. It, was, yeah. it wasn't 80s blowing up blood packs or anything like that. It was just... It was a quick kill and it was done. But this was gritty. He drowned the guy and then shot him. Yeah. And then from there, so you, you, it sets the tone so well, I think, for this is what you're up for. And then we go into a parkour scene, which was off the Do you the think charts. the black and white, like what that, I, I get what you're saying. Mm. I completely get what you're saying. And I think the film on the whole mm. represents that really well. Yeah. And I want to talk about more about that later. Yeah. What does the black and white do? What is, as it a was, choice, I don't, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent certain. I know why, why it was it's black, black and, white, and white though. I get what I you're remember, saying. I remember reading it, but I forget why. It was a throwback to another film that they wanted that that okay. uh, Martin wanted to emulate. Martin Campbell. Martin Campbell. Yes. Campbell wanted to emulate in this film. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. I don't think there was a real reason for the black and white. I, uh, to be honest, it could have done without. But it was a nice. This is what you're going to get, kind yeah. of section, kind okay. of book ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the scene. I actually quite like yeah. the scene. Yeah, I just found it really strange. And I, I'm going to be honest. I had to Google it. Uh, do you know how like? What did you have to Google? Is this meant to be in black and white? Oh, really? Like, uh, <laughs> every time, any time, I swear to God, every single time now, someone starts speaking a different language yeah. and there aren't subtitles. Yeah, the I, go, I pause and I and go, Google. Are these yeah. subtitles meant, are they meant to be oh, subtitles on this? Because I hate that we do that. I do the same thing. No, but this is the thing. Back in the day. You never had to worry about that shit. If you put on a VHS, they they were they were just loaded into those things. You know what I mean? You exactly. didn't have to go through and push a bunch of different buttons exactly. to get the right. Make sure you had the right language on and exactly. you had the right subtitles yeah. on. Yeah, it was that's what you got. And so exactly. now, anytime it's even Especially slightly there's this, there's different, there's a section now in your TV where you can put it where you're not getting any. So if there are subtitles, they won't come up. Yeah, exactly. Or you can get it where if there are subtitles that are meant to be there, yeah. you will have. Them. And this is part that. of what it, it, it's my, it's my own fault because I fuck around with it too much. But if I'm watching oh, a movie right. late at night, yeah. especially like an action movie, right. and I don't want to have right. it too loud, I yeah. put the subtitles on because I can't be bothered up and down in the volume for action sequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so and then I'll go to watch something else and I'll turn off the subtitles. Netflix thinks I want no subtitles. And then I'll go to start watch something that's meant to have subtitles, and because I've turned Jesus it off a couple of nights prior, I have to go back and turn it on again, and all Jesus, that kind of stuff. That's harsh. It's a real pain in the ass. I don't do that. I'm an asshole. My family can just do, turn deal it up with it. As loud as I had fucking... Bond last night. That, this, is to the movie, this is a man. loud movie, man. This is a loud movie, man. Yeah, and the I, sound and design I, is spot on in this. It was so really good. lovely. So I, good. Yeah. If if I had better sound system, I would have enjoyed it immensely. And so I was pumping out of my crappy TV speakers. It's all right, man. You'll get there. One day. One day. How good? Just touching on that parkour scene. So, being they knew what they wanted, and of course they get the man who uh, one of the gentlemen who invented parkour okay, to do sure. that scene. Well, That's I mean, why he was that good. You go to the source, I guess, right? Um, How it's, good is that scene? It is. It is something else. I actually, um, I think parkour as a, a as an overall thing art form is yeah. kind of ridiculous. <laughs> You know, you know what I mean? Like, I just kind of I look at it and go, yeah, okay. I could never like, do, that? do that. that. And it's, I get it's kind of impressive, I guess. But in this circumstance, it reminds me a lot of um, uh, Tony Jaa stuff yeah, that he right. does, especially during, um, is it The Protector? Is that the, the Protector, one where he does? Yeah. I mean, he does it in all of his movies, but mm -hmm. there was stuff particularly in The Protector, which I found really impressive. The one where he, like, he does the leap through like the barbed wire hoop yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, f watching that kind of stuff, I was, I, knew what you were talking I was about. really like impressed, but on its own, it's not impressive. I think this is, I think this action sequence is so well directed. Yeah. Martin Campbell is killing it in this scene. Right? It's, so some, what the fuck it's happened, something man? else. Yeah. He, this one, he's a strange director, like, man. How can you get a scene How like that so that right? And then you just don't hit any, you don't hit any points in, cause this is the man that gave us Green Greenland. Lantern. Yeah. What and on fuck? paper, not a bad choice for a comic book movie. Exactly. This man, uh, it's Mask that? of Zorro. I love Mask, Mask of Zorro. Mark. Mask. Mask. Mask of Zorro. And Legend he did both. of Zorro. Yeah, he yeah. did both. Yeah. Like, 
solid. I, I can't remember if I've ever seen Legend of Zorro, to be honest, but oh, I like Master of Zorro. They were great, it's good man. fun. Yeah. Um, he, what are you doing? Like, he, he, see, he seemed to be... A, and, like, also, what I... And it only dawned on me again today, but also, this is the guy that has rebooted the Bond franchise twice. Right? Like, he did Goldeneye. Yeah, so he's kind of... He's done some hard work, this guy. Yeah. How does he do a scene so well like that? And, then, and generally a movie that is, I think, pretty well directed all over... To then, f- like, bomb out so miserably. Like, on... really hard with yeah, Green Lantern. It's so strange. I need to watch Green Lantern again. Maybe it's Closet Good. No, it's not. It's definitely <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's a secret classic. Vertical Limit is his other one, Toast. Oh, Remember Vertical, Vertical Limit? Limit. Uh, come on. Yeah. Everyone loves Vertical Limit. Oh, that movie is fucking outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like, just 90s into the 2000s. Let's do a cliff- that is cliffhanger. That is the most badass. Let's try and emulate cliffhanger. They like cliffs. Let's give it to them. You know, and I was like, what? Are you kidding me? No one's watching Dante's Peak, man. No one's oh, seen I love Dante's Peak. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I love Dante's Peak. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan and Linda Hamilton. Pierce. What a great oh, cast. Jesus. Um, yeah, so Anything that scene mountains. is, it, it is something else. It is so well put together. So good. Um, there and was, the ending, like, you, like in the embassy and him getting him and just the quick punches. and oh, Yeah, it feels like if it was the cold open of a normal Bond film, right, yeah. it would be an all-timer, best cold open. Yeah. You don't even need to ask the question. Shoots the thing, the explosion hits, and all of a sudden, bam, yeah, bam, 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 and yeah, the song exactly. starts. You know. yeah. Or let him have the moment where they recover from it, and he's not there and anymore. And he's not there anymore. And then, yeah. Bam, 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 yeah. yeah. So good. So good. Do you like the credits and the, and the song? I, I don't mind it. Um, I'm, I, I like Chris Cornell. Um. There are uh, other Bonds, uh, Bond songs that I'm a huge fan of. Yeah. First I, one that comes to mind is, well, apart from Adele, which is the one. Of um, this generation. Of this generation. Yeah, the Adele one is by um, far and away the best thing. It's, yeah. it's so but good. But Duran Duran, man. I love that Duran Duran oh, one. I yes. fucking love that song. Yeah. Tell me that <laughs> in fire. Yeah. How good is it? Yeah, I love I that. I love it, that song. That is great. I like that it's despite it me. not being really a great Bond no, thing. No, it's but, not. Except but it's I not that great horn songs. lines, though. It, Th- those horn lines are good. Yeah. Um, Do you know what's really funny is that like a song like Nobody Does don't It like Better. Goldmine. Sorry, keep going. Oh, that's right. We'll come back to yeah, that Yeah, one. sorry. <laughs> a song like Nobody Does It Better, yeah. which is not in any way a Bond thing. No, it's but not. But is a fucking a, a beautiful piece of songwriting. Yeah. What is it about Bond themes? We're gonna because we're gonna talk. There's yeah, you gotta talk about them. this. Yeah, there's this something... is what we used to do. Like back at JB Hi-Fi, we would play the Bond oh yeah, album. the best of Bond album. Anytime there's wrong. a Bond movie coming out or about to come out on Blu-ray, you throw it on. You throw it on and, it and you, twice a day. you sell about five copies. Yeah, just because there. it's such a great album. Because exactly. you get that big brassy Shirley Bassey stuff. Exactly, and you yeah. get the quiet kind of songwriting stuff. Yeah. And then yeah, the the weird kind of the late weird... Roger Moore yeah. period. Yeah, early Timothy Dalton. Timothy Dalton. You get these weird eighties bangers. Like, in there, yeah. and then random like um, I love it, but I don't like uh, Tina Turner's Golden Eye. Golden Eye, yeah, yeah. like into that. No, that I was wasn't naked. a huge fan. But then all of a sudden, you kick it into now, and you've got Chris Cornell and my man Jack White. The and Jack Alicia White, Keys. Alicia Keys one is actually, oh, I think, man, really that is a great. Tense song, man, I love that song. Yeah, that's a dark horse. Jesus Christ, that is a shit film. <laughs> So which one was that for? That was Quantum Man. Oh, you missed right. Quantum. And and speaking about it before, like going on, like when it ended with the villain that we have no fucking face for, when he shoots him, I'm I'm James Bond and shoots him on the thing. Yeah, that actually uh, rolls into Quantum. Right. If I remember correctly, because I'm pretty sure it does. He that villain, and it, it goes on why he was there and what his. Endgame was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Which I wasn't a fan of, which is why I think not a lot of people liked... I don't care. ...Quantum. Like, you, I like standalone Bonds. Yeah. You know, I don't they, want it rolling into the other. Have there ever been direct sequels, like... Not that I ...in know. the Bond movies, like where they've... I don't think so. Because very, very rarely do events from previous films affect... Exactly. ...the next film. Yeah. Like, very rarely does the love interest roll over... No, man. Or that there's even any kind of like... Even a mention of the love, yeah. last love interest, no. Any kind of significance. They don't really play any kind of significance. I'm no. sure it's happened... I think there might be one or two maybe instances, or two. maybe. In Sean's era? How many Sean's have you seen? Uh, Mr. Connery. Do you do, 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 do How many has he done? Types? He's done six or seven. He's done eight, my boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Really? I have no idea. Um, because I sound like a fucking idiot. I've seen, I've seen the first four. First four? And I've seen um, 
the his big one, Spy. Is it Spy Who Loved Me? Spy Who Loved Me. I have no idea. Is that a? Is look. that a? What's the real? No, or Diamonds Are Forever. I don't remember. No. I don't remember any. I, I should have written them down, but my, like, like so I said, the, I have uh, no time. To explain, my so James Doctor Bond. So Doctor No was the first. Yeah, 62, definitely seen that. From Russia with Love, sixty-three, yep. and then Goldfinger, Goldfinger, then Thunderball, and then Thunderball. Then the, then it gets a bit you only hairy for twice. me. No, I haven't seen you only twice. Yeah. Um. So my then to, Diamonds to give it a, comes yeah, back. I think okay. So that's yeah. I think that's one. Yeah. Um. So my kind of history with Bond mm. is to give it a bit of context. Yeah. Is that. It was a it was family viewing, right? As when I was a kid, okay. So mum and dad loved watching James Bond, and yep. so I just sit and watch them. So mm. I watched quite a few at a young age. Okay, didn't find them boring. Like that was not, but obviously enjoyed certain parts more than other parts. Yeah. So I have really distinctive memories of certain action sequences right. and like stuff like um, okay. Jaws, for instance. Like Classic, I, I have man. this, I have images of Jaws yes. in my head. Yes. Um, lots of live and let die. Because okay. I found it, I was so intrigued by the um, all the kind of voodoo stuff oh, as a okay. kid. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it was such a it was such a culture shock for me as a kid, as yeah. a fucking white kid from <laughs> suburban Melbourne. You know what I mean? Like, so I found yeah. that stuff fascinating. That's awesome. So I I struggle a little bit to isolate which ones I have seen entirely because since being a kid, I haven't seen. Yeah, I've gone definitely back seen to the those. first four. Yep. And I've seen a few scattered Roger Moore ones in that time. Yeah. And then obviously the the Brosnan ones that I've seen and the, right. and the Daniel Craig ones. So. so in my last year, I think it was at the video store, because I knew it was my last year, I tried to watch them all. I got through two Conneries mm. and was just bored out of my brain. Oh, that's really... I know, that's right? That's a shame. Yeah. I think the second Connery might be my favourite oh, Bond. Oh, really? Yeah. Favourite... What? Whoa! Yeah. Favourite Bond film of all time. I reckon wow, from Russian Love okay, is wow. probably still the best one I've seen. Okay. Because I don't have... I remember it was the, like I was bored out of my brain okay. anyway with life at that point where, where I was yeah. in life. So I didn't, wasn't really paying attention. So... Um, uh yeah, I, I can't wait to go back. So I've literally only seen two Sean's. I haven't seen any Tim or any um Roger Moore or anything like that. I haven't seen Lesden B and I've seen all of Pierce and, and all of Daniel Craig. Sure. And and that's it. So yeah. it's funny. So because I don't have a reference though. So I can't tell you like if someone said to you, Who's your favourite Bond? I say I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, well that's fair. You know, I don't wanna you know, I remember Roger Moore might be really good. Well, I liked different things when I was younger. Mm. Um, I think I liked Roger Moore as Bond when I was younger. Yeah. But I don't think I would like him very much now because he's not what I want from an action hero. Right. He was just he 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 would never believably be able to do the things that he does in those films. <laughs> Knock a guy out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, but he was just charming and kind of a bit of a, a bit of a jokester. Like yeah. he seemed like a kind of a fun guy to be around. But we're watching it now. If we watch those movies now, we're coming at it from, oh yeah, this is Bond and this was made in. Well, coming at it from you know yeah, I mean? with the historical context as yeah. well. I don't know. I think it's weird. Like it's you know, I think, I think there's a weird lull age where Bond wouldn't work. And I think that might have been around Absolutely. the time you were saying you watched it. Because if you were saying, I reckon, oh, around yeah. the time you left the video store, I'd imagine it was close to when I probably finished, yeah, which yeah. is around 23, 24-ish. 23, 24. Oh, age? Yeah. Or you were a bit uh, younger. I was a little bit younger. Yeah. The, I think that's so 20, kind of, 22, 23, yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of not a great time to, to, to watch be a Bond. Bond fan. Yeah, that's true. Because I think you're we're watching, we want a bit... At that time, you know, you're watching Swordfish and you're like, yeah, this is badass. <laughs> That is a great example. <laughs> but you're right, though. Yeah. You know, That's 22, it. 23, you're like, have you fucking heard of Tarantino? Jesus. You're getting, and you're yeah, getting into you that. Want, you, you, know? want something, you want something really meaty. And I think yeah. the, the, the kind of the simple charm of Roger Moore just, you know, uh, charming women. And, exactly. And like delivering a killer fucking line. Yeah. Like when when in this, the one that I can think of in Casino Royale, because there's not a lot of, 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 there's some, but they're quite subtle in Casino, which is Casino Royale, which is why I like it. Yeah. Like when he's talking about his dad, how is your lamb? And he goes, skewered, one sympathizes. And, you know, and that would go over most people's heads. You're like, that That was beautiful. Like yeah. the delivery on that was spot on. Yes, know? exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but that's all right. So I'm with you. I'm, I'm at a point yeah. where, I mean, I... I started rewatching them last time they were available all to stream, and now yep. uh, so I'll be able to do it again. Nice. And I think I'm going to pick up where I finished off, which at okay. that point was Thunderball. Okay, uh, so nice. I finished, yeah, finished I Thunderball. Really can't wait to watch um, really And then can't. I'll keep going through and yeah, fill those gaps because I I know that I'm much in a much better mindset. I think if I exactly. tried to do this 15 years ago, I wouldn't have had a bar and I would have been like, James Bond sucks. Yeah, <laughs> oh, let's watch some Matrix. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, Matrix. Reloaded. Reloaded. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so fucking good, man. Have you seen Reloaded? I'm not oh, watching man. anything except for The Dark Knight. Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shut up, man. There are other films out there. Um, Ties. Yeah, man. I could be spot. I could be very wrong in what I'm about to say. All right, but I feel that I love when we pre. I know. Like pre warn everybody. I, know. I could be about to spout some be, bullshit. I could right? be about to spout some bullshit, but I'm pretty sure not a, not a lot of women like Bond. Tice, he's a bit misogynistic and a bit shit. Yeah. To to, to especially if you're looking at those old ones, there's a lot of slapping. It's it was funny. It's a different time. It only started getting. Um, noticeable to me mm. around Goldfinger. Right. I found the first two yeah. didn't really have that. Okay. And I remember, I don't like Goldfinger very much. And I know it's... Because I know of... a lot of people speak of it as like when Bond became Bond. Right. But it's also, for me, I was watching it and I was like, oh, this is when Bond became an asshole. This is what they're talking right. about. Okay. Um, okay. And I'm I'm less interested in that. Okay. Um, because Sam so, isn't a fan. She fucking hates Bond. And now I've, she's watched Casino Royale, Royale with me twice. And yeah. she, she loves it. She thinks it's a great film. Yeah. But apart from that, I'm like, hey, do you want to watch, you know, Skyfall? New Bond's coming out. And she's like, why would I watch the misogynistic prick? I'm not watching that asshole. Yeah. You know. And I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. There's a, look, and there's a lot said about it. Mm. And like we don't have, I, I'd love, you know what I'd love, Tyson? I'd love a female Bond. Yeah, that'd be great. Tell me that's not going to kick ass. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, I don't think. Having said, I don't think that's the reason. To, that's the answer to, 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 to what has. Oh uh, no! What, of course not. Like what the problem with it is, no. and even this movie. Like, I think this movie seems there's nothing overtly misogynistic in his actions in this film. In this toward, one? until no. some things he does says at the end, which I don't like very much. Um, After the bank. Yeah. Before the bank? After the bank. After the bank. Well, uh, like, spoilers for Cassandra, Roll, I guess. Oh, dude. It's I, I don't care for him calling her a bitch. Oh, right. Like, oh, as, yeah. a, as a cheap kind of screenwriting way to show that he's, uh, he's, he's, done he's, with her? he's like, blocking yeah, it's, it's his lame. emotions. That's lame. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I don't he like didn't that. need that line. Um, but apart from that, and I might be blind to it, but I didn't see... I didn't he feel was like... quite comforting to her as far as Bond goes, though. Like, yeah. he's not going to... He, he actually he's... seemed to be... Qu- he quite... He respected her. And yeah. I think what's interesting is that, yeah, he used his he used his physicality and his sexuality to get the information out of the, that bad guy's wife. Yeah. Um, She's stunning, by the way. Why wasn't she Vespa Lind? Cause Cause I, I, I'm a huge Eva Green fan. Really? Yeah. I can't um, stand it. Oh, what a shame. I really can't stand oh, it. I think she's such an interesting sucks, presence. Man. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like her oh, on oh. screen a lot. I really? think she's got a really interesting presence. Okay. Um, I'm not a big fan, but yeah. Um, yeah, when he... When but, and so, like, he... It was never, like... It was very much a two to tango situation. Yeah. Like, and the dialogue even made reference to it, like, repeatedly that she was like... I'd, I know I, what you're doing. I know, and I know what you are. And yeah. I'm attracted to the bad boys, and you know, exactly. I'm, you know, why, why do I, you know, why do I keep or falling for the bad man, man and yeah. all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Like, I think this one it draws enough attention to it, but allows it to still. It allows the whole because it, it. I mean, it's something about a Bond movie. It's always he always sleeps with the Bond chicks. Yeah. So that's a part of the Bond movies. It is, and in certain ones, that comes across as really kind of icky. Is there a Bond girl in Skyfall? I can't remember Skyfall. Who's the Bond girl in Skyfall? I, yeah, I can't actually remember that either. Um, but having said, yeah, while you check that out. Yeah. So it, to me, it, it didn't seem like it was, and I don't think, it, did he even sleep with her in the it end? It was Naomi Harris. Um, yeah. Who, Eva Green? No, the, the. Um, no, he didn't. Yeah. No, he ordered champagne he ordered, and, and said caviar for one. for one. He basically got the information he needed and, and then was later. like, well, yeah. you know, I don't, I'm not going to do this. Yeah. Um, the only bit that I found weird, mm. did you find it really weird how he like sucked on her fingers, on Eva Green's fingers in the yeah, shower? It was a, yeah, he didn't, it was kind of a thing like, I don't know what to do. I need to comfort you somehow. She said, I can feel the blood on my hands. So he was trying to, instead of washing them, he sucked them off. That <laughs> sentence came out <laughs> a lot wrong than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Wrong sentence, but um, Damn, but yeah. So so I can see what he was trying to go for. It, yeah, but it was weird. that was the one that I was kind of like, I, it, I was set it back a little bit. I was, yeah. I thought that was really yeah. strange because I, I honestly did thought like it was that quite shower a, scene though. I oh, me too. Really I actually good. thought it was kind of nice tender moment, it and was. it was actually I really appreciated that he just got in, got in, and that's what I liked about it. And Full adjusted the temperature, and just went, we're a little and cold, just, yeah, and, and just, just sat with her. Yeah. 
I thought that was really great, and I was like, it's a different. It is a different it's side a different bond, because you know. we, you know, yeah, we're so used to it being, you know, he spots someone on the other side of the room wearing a fancy evening dress, and then yeah. cut to post bang. Post- <laughs> Everyone's um, smoking. I love it. Everyone yeah. smokes at the end, and and some kind of important information gets relayed somehow. Exactly. Yeah. And so it was. It was kind of. Yeah. It was interesting. That, That's so true. That, you hit that, that right on the head there. Yeah. It's, there's always. It, it's always post post bang, yeah. and then it, and she just happens to to. Oh yeah, we're doing this tomorrow. And yeah. He's exactly. like, oh right. <laughs> I know where I'm going tomorrow. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah. That's so true. Uh, so true. After making some gag about. I thought Christmas only came once a year, or whatever, whatever those Roger Moore. You'll just, you'll just need to know. My favorite, my favorite, which was way over the top, which is actually in Tomorrow Never Dies, is where they're all in the car. It's Money Penny and M and, and Bond, hmm. and Money Penny turns to to Bond, and after speaking about the girl that he's just about to meet up with, he goes, "You'll just need to know how much pumping is needed, James." Oh and I'm like, God. <laughs> Gold. It's so, it's so <laughs> British too. Like you can imagine them. Oh, just a, a bit of pumping. pumping. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. Uh, so I think this whole movie does a mm. really good job of kind of arguing a different ethos of like the James oh, sure. Bond character. Yeah. Like because we've had and I like I've never read any of the novels. Yeah. Um, I read a thing saying that Ian Fleming would consider Daniel Craig to be the closest to his actual... To his Bond, To yeah. his Bond, which yeah. I find really interesting because he's so different from what Bond is in the films. Right. To, up to that point. Mm. Like, we had... You know, Sean Connery could, could punch a dude, and yeah. we know that for he'd a fact. He'd punch you to knock it out. Like, yeah. really knock you out. He'd, Whereas he'd, he'd knock out a fucker. Timothy Dalton and Roger Moore. I've, yeah, those guys <laughs> got into... They did get into, like, fights, but mm. they were movie fights, and he'd, yeah. he'd do an awkward kick into somebody's midsection and they'd go flying it was about you know it was <laughs> like you, you've got it was a, some so of those bad. action it was sequences and Roger 80s Moore man. It was like, oh, just shit. awful <laughs> but they were it was sophistication first yeah like it was the smooth first yeah. and, the, and, and the, the other stuff yeah. came later and this one is really throwing the idea of no no, no he is not a he is not a sophisticated character he is no. like a brutal killer yeah like a blunt instrument, basically. Yeah. yeah. What like, M calls him. M calls him a blunt instrument. There you go. And there you are. I must have got that yeah. somewhere. So good. Um, which I think is really interesting that they kind of went, okay, so we've had, you know what movie sucked? Die Another Day. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've had a bit of time from there. So we're going to do another James Bond movie. And someone actually went, oh, hey, why don't we try doing it mm. with a completely different tact on the character? Yeah. Like, there are still similar elements. Like, he's still charming as fuck. He's still intelligent, heavily intelligent. But I love that the way that they distinguished it was the way that he, uh, his action, like, his agency. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it absolutely. was, he was, he would fucking, he would punch a dude or choke out a dude mm. or throw a dude over a stairwell and, like, fucking beat, beat the, the shit out of him. He'd yeah. parkour his way up a, a bloody a crane. crane. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, he wasn't sitting in an invisible Aston Martin <laughs> chugging back a martini and like, Come on. Die another a, day has its moments. Using man. one of those little things out of your watch where a oh, little the laser watch. Like a laser yes. watch or something that shoots some kind of poison dart yeah. at somebody. I like, love it. It's the ring. I love the ring that you twist it twice and it breaks glass. Yeah, there you go. What? You're gonna break I'm like, it, it's, on, it's just old. they went, you know, no, let's fuck it. Like, not doing that, he yeah. wouldn't use a ring to break the glass, he'd use his skull. Exactly. <laughs> he'd find something to break it with it. Yeah. Know. His yeah. skull. That's so true. That's so true. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's and I I think I might like it a little bit more, but that's yeah. probably just my. Um, that's okay. I'd like. I think I'd like this if it, even if it wasn't a James Bond movie. If, if this was like an action thriller, yeah, that's the thing. It like would be a good movie. It's just such a good film on its own on its yeah. own merit. Like it's fine. Yeah. yeah. How do we find this? Is my first. Oh damn it! Um, Your first. My first. Two seconds. No, it's gone. It's too late. <laughs> uh, the actor that plays the chief. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Thank you. This is my first Mads movie. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and I've I remember... seen some bits and pieces with him. Yeah. since before I'd watched it. Yeah, but yeah. God, he's a good. Vi- he's he is a, a good villain. villain. He's a great Bond villain. He's too. a great Bond villain, and that's why. That's why because he's such a good villain. That's why it's a bit of a letdown at the end of the second act, where you're like, oh, he's got shot oh, in the 100%, head. Hundred percent. What the fuck, man? He deserved way better. A James Bond death. Yeah, exactly. James Bond. Ha- deserved to be able to kill him, yeah. and it's it's unfortunate that that was taken away from him because he exactly. just had his nads pretty itched. well and truly it yeah itched itched well and hard. I love that line. The the 
the, you're going to start itching my balls. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. good. So good. Um, but yeah. yeah, because I think he is, and he did something that they don't always do with Bond villains, which made him kind, of, and they made him kind of desperate. Yeah, like, they gave him not, a weakness. Yeah. He's not. He's clutching on straws yeah. here. Yeah, it's not a, a villain that's after world domination or has a satellite in the sky that can yeah take down an entire. And continent. they're generally the 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 big Bond, memorable Bond villains, mm. are always so in control. Yeah, exactly. And this guy's not at all. <laughs> like he's a real loose unit. Yeah, and um, there's even people after him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so he's got this pressure on him to win because he's going to get fucking murdered too. Yeah. Uh, and so I, think I think they do that well with the fact that he's an asthmatic. I oh, think yeah, that yeah, that's yeah. subtle that he... No, 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 he's a villain, but he has weaknesses. Yeah. It, the I mean? asthma thing's funny because it feels like it's a bit of a... We need to give him something. Mm. Um, but you're right. It does. It just exposes a weakness and... It gives us a nice, convenient way to have him tracked have him and stuff tracked. like that. Yeah, and it's just something like every, all Bond villains have something. You know what I mean? And maybe you know exactly. Blofeld I, had a hat. Yeah, <laughs> I do like. I really like the idea that his eyes weirdly fucked up, and so it just bleeds sometimes. That's messed up. I think that's really great. Yeah, because um, that's the kind of it's similar to Avia Bardem's thing in Skyfall. Oh god, where he's had. Hands injuries down and the he best has to have ever. like he, he has like a he fake jaw basically because he had to have reconstructive up, yeah. surgery mm. it's the kind of thing that it's what jaws is and um odd job yeah but without the naffness of jaws and odd job like yeah. you can't have a dude running around anymore with razor sharp teeth <laughs> who's seven foot tall yes you can because it's ridiculous <laughs> No, you can't. So to have, yeah, to have something like, Unless yeah. Unless you're watching a Marvel film. Or Actually, fucking no, DC. Diamond Face. Like, Diamond Face? What a, what oh, no, come on. Idea oh, God, it was awesome. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> the diamonds blow up in his face. The diamonds are enlodged, always in his face, so he's always got a, a sparkly demeanor. That's how Pierce puts it. You, okay. It's so good. That's, it, that is so lame. <laughs> But it's so. It, I think this is a really nice way to do that, to have that kind of memorable quality without yeah. it being, oh, you've got diamonds in your you've face. You've got diamonds <laughs> in your face. God, that's hysterical. I love that. It's so bad. It was so good. That fucking movie. It was so good. I was talking about it with Tice after, uh, before we were recording. And, yeah. and Die Another Day, like the fact that it was such a flip of a coin, if you watch Die Another Day and then Casino Royale, you've got completely different films there. But Die Another Day is... The Batman and Robin Joel Schumacher it of is. James Bond. It is. Like, it is so colourful and, and look, you know... It's not for me. Avant-garde and re- re- just yeah. fully loose. I think some people would dig that, though. Oh, I think, yeah. I think the same people that say that, the like, Moonraker is awesome... I, I, we'll I probably not. We'll probably not hate Die Another Day. Yeah, because they. I think they're getting. They're coming they're, at it from a different bond. They're, yeah, they're getting different things from their bond. They yeah. want ridiculous. They want the things that Austin Powers is parodying. Yeah, like they want that. Mm. Whereas, yeah, we we, we, we kind want, of we want something a little bit, a bit more, more realistic. grounded. Yeah. Exactly. That, that not um, necessarily all the way grounded by no, any stretch. We're not. still talking about a, a you know a villain that bleeds out of his eyeball and you know a, a man that runs around with a gun with a silencer. Like, well, it's already inherently a little bit ridiculous, yeah. you know. Like, it's it's a super spy. It's, exactly. the, it's the weird um, fascination of kids everywhere, you know. Yeah. But it's obviously so, you know. It's it's grounded in reality to a certain degree. Yeah, that's a good way of putting. It. I remember speaking about when the Dark Knight. Not to bring it back to superheroes, but we always do. Sure, why not? Um, when the Dark Knight came out, and I show, I went to the cinema with my dad. I think it was the fifth time I saw it at the cinema. To show him The Dark Knight because of how good it was. Yeah. We watched it and at the end we were we were having a beer and I said, did, what, what did you think of Heath Ledger? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, what do you mean, yeah? What does that mean? He's like, yeah. What? My Joker is Jack Nicholson. I'm like, what? What do you mean? And that's, he, he prefers, he's like, no, 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 I don't want a, a Joker that is um, a, a terrorist. I want a Joker that is... Insane, like, like, but sort of a, almost like a PG yeah, Joker. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. like, I mean, we're we're both huge fans of the animated series, massively. And yeah, the, the exactly. Joker in the Batman the animated series is incredible. Mm. He's not really threatening in the no. same way that Heath Ledger is, but no. it's still like it's it, so it might good. be my favorite version of that character yeah. as well. Like, so yeah. I get I get where people are coming from with that, and you know, so it depends what you grow up with. It depends what you grow up with. It depends where what your um yeah what your inclinations are mm. when it comes to these kind of movies. And what was your first Bond? Like, I feel like if you did... Like, people growing up with... 
who grew up with Sean Connery being their Bond, um, they're going to look at Daniel Craig and go, yeah, that's not Bond. Well, it's, not gonna, it's for, gonna, gonna, yeah. for example, my parents, mm. right? They love all of it. Right. So they, they watched all, I don't know how many they saw at the cinema, but they are old enough to have... Were they alive? Started at the start? I think they were probably... Because Dr. No was 60, 60, 63, maybe 64, I want to say. Go. Uh, 62. 62. So, for instance, yeah, my, my parents were, you know, what, 20? Yeah. Guy, well, why, hang on, why can't I figure this out? Because <laughs> I'm terrible at math. I am terrible at maths. How long ago was 62? That was 50. Asking the wrong guy. That was 57 years ago. Yeah. So okay. So my parents were tenish, twelveish, right around that point. So they, you know, they've they've probably done all the James Bonds as they go. Mm. And when a new James Bond movie comes out, it is like an event for them. They right. still go to the cinema, nice. gold class. They do the thing. They love it, sick. And my mum, being you know a person that doesn't watch a lot of movies, yeah, comes back every time and is like, oh, it's wonderful. It was so oh, it was wonderful. Lovely. I loved it. Oh, that's, and I'm like, that's, that's awesome, mum. And like, she didn't oh. care if it's if they're good ones or bad ones. She yeah. loves all of them. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I think it's funny. I think there might actually be people that just don't give a rats either. Oh right, who just want to just, just like no no no. It's, it's a fun just run. a James Bond. Really? Yeah. Have your parents watched? They've watched even through Daniel Craig. Everything like that. Yeah yeah. They've, they've watched, watched all. Of them. Yeah yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They nice. went and saw Spectre. Mum loved Spectre, and I was like, really? I heard it was really Ooh. bad. She's like, no. It was oh. wonderful. I thought it was quite good. Jesus, it was a hard watch. Yeah. See, this and is the thing. You know, they don't, they don't care. Well. Just want to watch James Bond I will doing his thing. I'll watch it again. Um, what else uh, do I want to say? What else you got? Um, so let's talk about Vespa for a little bit. Oh, sure. Um, so I like her as a character a lot. I es- do as well. Especially in the first... Well, in the part of the movie I like. Let's just say it this way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I honestly think I think an hour and 40 of this movie... Is pretty fucking great. It's yeah, it's and I'm much. on board for it, pretty much everything that happens. Uh, and I like her a lot. You know, considering she only really comes into it about 45 minutes into it, it's not. No, I, no, no. She's spot on an hour. It's an hour. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so not even second build in a, in an hour's time. That's yeah. It's funny that I because I was watching along and I was kind of you know yeah thinking because the movie yeah the movie starts and there's some great action sequences mm. but for a movie that is so heavily built on the Montenegro competition, the, scene, yeah. the, the poker competition, yeah. doesn't happen for a long time in the movie. Yeah. Not that I'm complaining. I like I like everything leading up to it. I loved, I loved, loved the poker sequences. It's my favorite. They, yeah. like, they were Texas so so great. Literally so, so wanted great. to get out cards and just start. Oh yeah, and that's it. Because I, <laughs> I, I I love playing anyway. Yeah. That I was just like I was so into it all. It, uh, it was a bit movie poker at times when it was like the only you know of course that's the hand that wins and I was. I was trying to remember what hand beat Le Chief's hand, and I was like, "Ah, oh, see." And I, as it's much the as the bluff, I'm, how does he find out the bluff? Yeah, what does he have? That, see that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. It's great. Yeah. I, that's the stuff I dig. Where it's a, you know, the it's not so much which cards they flip over, but the stories around it. Yeah. What's the deal though with her? With her as a character, because uh-huh. we are so we we are becoming quite invested in her, yeah. right? And we want them to get together because movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. At the end, right? Uh-huh. So she went end of she, the end of the Montenegro scene or end of the bank? No, no. So at the end of the bank, sure. Uh, did I miss something? But are we meant to know what she's done? Are we meant to know? No, I don't. I don't think so. M sums it up. I see, and that's quite it. Quite a bit. But M, M, we get like a we get like we a, get a sum up a wrap up. Yeah, yeah, from M, which is really helpful because I thought I was just. In the dark. Completely dumb. Yeah. You're like, because, I've missed the scene. I've, yeah. I'm watching an edited version. No, you don't. The the uh, tip-offs is the necklace, the friendship knot that she takes off. Yes. Um, because to save her husband, she has to take the winnings to whoever has her husband. Yeah. And in order to do that, she has to get close to Bond. So she ends up playing the game. Um, but you don't... you. All, I got all of that from M's sum up. Yeah. So you know I mean? while so we're d- watching that final sequence, yeah, and she's drowning, yeah. and it's all really sad in air quotes. Yeah, I don't 
be, I, I don't, don't feel anything. I don't feel anything because no. I don't know what she's done. Right. So I'm just kind of confused. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I yeah. feel like her death is really it, watered down in its impact. Okay. Because I can't, I can't grapple with what has happened. Well, I don't understand why she lets... Because she lets herself drown. Yes, she, she doesn't, does. She doesn't seek help from Bond. She lets, doesn't hold out her hand, doesn't help the... She could have spent the whole time, you know, pulling at the gate or whatever, because it does eventually bust open. She actually takes out a key at one point and drops it. And you're like, okay, are you telling me that you had a key to the door that you're now drowning in? What the fuck? You know. And so that's it. So we're forced to sit there and be like... Oh, so okay. So she's is she is she killing herself out of guilt now? I think that's what it is. And but see, that's it's but it's, it it's a strange. Like I just I couldn't because then I find that information and retrospectively have to apply it to the scene I've just seen. Yeah. Which yes, in retrospect, gives it some, some weight. weight. But, but while, the, I'm watching while I'm watching it, watching it, I don't feel it. So no. it's it's kind of I think you I think you're, the, the impact. Of yeah, it. I think you're meant to be on the side of Bond, going no no no, save the girl, save her. You've almost got her, you know. And she and she drowns. But but because we've had that journey with her, and she's had you know she's had quite a bit of an arc there. She's been saved, but then you kind of was she getting tortured. In the scene where he well, was getting his nut scratched, or was she playing, she playing possum? You know, things like she's that. She's in awfully good nick w- she afterwards. She is, isn't she, afterwards? You yeah. know, And then she, randomly she's in the hospital where mm. where he's at and all that stuff. You know, so does, was she in on the whole thing? Well, I mean, I, I, I once we do find out, I have to assume that she was in on it the whole time. Right. And that because remember how M says that we can let the other guy go because it was probably Vespa that told that told um, um, which I'm not certain I believe I think she was trying to keep it separate she wouldn't tell um, she wouldn't tell Bond that I, I don't know maybe she because she's going to an awful lot of trouble helping a guy win who she doesn't want to win this game do you know what I mean like anyway yeah so I just find I just found it to be an, an odd choice from a storytelling point of view because I don't know how I'm meant to feel about this character that you've built up this whole time and I know yeah. that puts us in the same in the point of view of Bond because he's confused too because mm. all he, the only information he has to work with is that she has she's picked another bank account to put the money is that in. she's going yeah he's basically put two and two together that she's going to rob the money she's, from she's him she's robbing him yeah. yeah but then it's the same thing he said she left me the phone she wanted me to know so was she trying to get so that he could stop her or he could take back the money. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, it's, it's a bit confusing, isn't it? I found it, it that, a bit muddy end. and yeah. then at the end it's kind of like, oh, she had a different husband and, you know, she was trying to save him. Yeah. And yes, you kind of go, okay, well, that's, I guess that's, you know, people do what they've got to do. Yeah, that's fine. But why the fuck would you kill yourself if you have a husband out there? Well, you, do you die? Know. What happens to the husband? Do we know I that guess. he died? Maybe do we die? No, I don't know. Uh, okay. Anyway, look, I might have just missed something. And it might be a lot clearer, and maybe I'm just not putting two and two together. But I found it a really murky way to end that character, yeah. this character that I think... And I think it robbed some of the power that it could have had by having him have to face that from her. Right. Like, if he, if they actually had a, some kind of face-off and she was the one that had to go, yes, I made you fall in love with me because I needed this. Yep. And... Then he has he has to have that mass that real kind of like real like he had to face it in her. Yeah, I think by her dying in a yeah. way where he never really he had, to, had to face that. His, his, it's kind of easier for yeah. him to just be like, oh well, openness screw, you know, yeah. the bitch is dead. Yeah, that's true. And I guess what you what yeah what you're talking about now that ending with everything being so bizarre, even with Le Chief dying, and I love how it's a random bad guy with a fucking eye patch that we're chasing. I'm like, how cliche Classic. can you fucking yeah. get? Hey, Amen. Who the fuck is this dude? <laughs> like seriously, um, I thought for a minute he only had but because of <laughs> like, isn't it just one? No, he's he's wearing glasses and one of them's black and one's not. Oh, is it? I thought he's got an eye patch. It's a night. Oh, really? I thought it was like he had yeah different coloured glass to look lens. Pictures now. Um, but because of that ending, because of that last, especially with the the falling in love scene, the retiring from from MI six. Mm. That's not MI six, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's is MI six. Yeah, um, retiring from MI six, and then going to sail the world with her, getting you know yeah. all of that stuff, and then after all that, 
all of that makes just just drops this film from being a a, a five star film. I I, like, I think so. Yeah, had I you, agree. Had you had a boss ending, you've got a complete film. Up. I think it's a real mess. The last yeah, the last half an hour or so. Yeah, I think there's some interesting half ideas in there. Jesus, the fact it's, that you're saying half an hour, I think it might like, be longer. Yeah, I think it might like, actually I mean? be longer. Like it should be ten minutes. It should be fifteen. Sum it up. Let's go. I know. think it, it could have been something that have a big you know last banner banner moment, yeah. and then I think because. It didn't go the way she planned it, mm. that she had to then... Because it's all very awkward where she says, yeah, no, I'm, I am in love with you, actually. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, all that kind of stuff does feel awkward at the time. And in retrospect, you go, oh, it's because she, she, you know, needs, the she, money. she needed the money. And that was her last option was to be like, all right, well, I guess I'll try and... I'll get it at some point. Uh, yeah, I'll just exactly. Run. I'll just yeah. we'll pretend we're starting this life together and then I'll pinch it. Yeah. But it just, yeah, it was all way too delayed. And what does and- she think she's going to get away? He, he works for MI6. I don't. What? Does she think she's going to get away? Maybe she like, didn't think she would get away. Maybe, yeah, maybe she didn't you? think she would get away. Oh. Maybe oh. she should have just asked. <laughs> I know that sounds really dumb, but he seems like a reasonable guy. And if she was just like, look, look this is, I this have is, a husband. This is the situation. You've won. And he was like that too. He's like, I realize what that is. That's a. You, that someone gave you that and it means something to you. Yeah. Like it was such a good film at that point. You know, Bond had not only realised, uh, grown to, to like Vespa, but also uh, respected her in that she had a partner. Mm. And, you know, I'm not going to try anything with you because he's he's very lucky to have you. Oh, no. He, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm talking about the dinner scene. Yeah. And then after. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Bond. I don't know if there's uh, much else. Yeah, there's Mr. White Mr. was not really much no. of an impact. Fuck off, Mr. White. I don't As like a mastermind, I found it really yeah. anticlimactic at the end, although it was great to have the the money shot, I guess, of Bond with the suit. The a nice the suit. Bond, James Bond, and holding Fuck, the nice rifle, suit. and then the music That's a nice kicks car in. as well. As far as cars go in mm. Bond, that car, apart from the classic Skyfall uh, Aston Martin that he pulls out of the garage... Which is mm. beautiful Bond. That car is amazing. Isn't it great that Skyfall kind of turns into Home Alone? I love movies <laughs> that turn into Home Alone. <laughs> Any movie that turns into Home Alone. Yeah. The Equalizer wins. turns into Home Alone. Wins. Skyfall turns into Home Alone. Anything else? I'm gonna I'm gonna make You'll a list. That's gonna be my That's gonna be one that, of your my lists. funny letterbox list. That's movies hilarious. that turn into Home All Alone. Right. I'm, gonna, well, I'm gonna start a list. I'm gonna start a running list. Oh no, that's actors. I can't do that. Or maybe I can do it with actors. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. Um, do you know that the that car role mm-hmm. that is the Guinness Book of World Records as the most rolls? The most rolls for a cinema crash. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Was it was it one of those ones seven. that was planned? Seven rolls. Seven yeah, rolls. It was planned. They planned seven, or did oh, they? Oh no, they didn't plan seven. They just used they the, just, the hydraulic they just thing hydraulic and then it went drug and filmed it and let it play. And then it was like, holy and shit, like, we got fuck, seven. We hit seven. <laughs> and they were like, wow. Nice work, boys. Guinness Book of World Records. All right, nice. Yeah. Uh, well, then, Nick, um, is there anything else we want to talk about generally about the Bond movies, or do you want to leave it? What should we do next? Let's talk about that. What Bond movie do you want to do next oh, when, shit. We, when we revisit the franchise? Oh, God. I think we should go old school. I think, I we, think, should, so I think we should do a Sean. Yeah. Should we just, I, I reckon, let's just ignore all order whatsoever. Absolutely. And we'll just random. Yeah, I think we'll go around random. Let's do, yeah, let's do, let's do a Sean. And then let's do like fucking The World Is Not Enough. The worst Pierce. <laughs> so that's arguably, yeah. You, yeah. I, I think Die Another Day is. You think Die Another Day is worse? 100% I remember, gotta be the worst. Well, I've got to, I only that's watched it memories. once, but I remember like the Merry Christmas line and I was like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, but see, maybe I haven't seen that one. I'm so confused. <laughs> Man, I like it seen was World so bad, enough. man. No. Oh god. Yeah. Well, let's go. We'll go back and do. A, we'll go back and do. Uh, a I would classic. like to. Yeah. I think we should jump Bonds as well. Yeah, I would think that's a good yeah. idea. Maybe we'll put it out to the people. Which uh, which, which James Bond? Bond would you like us to talk about next? Yeah. We've done a Daniel Craig. We we'll have. do anybody other. Uh, any of any, the others. Any else? Any yeah. else? Um, Ties. Mm. Who Who would you like to see as your next Bond? Oh. Because I'm all over Idris. I, no, I, I love the idea love of Idris Elba. I, I really do like that I think idea. That is amazing. Yeah, I yeah. think he's a great choice. Yeah, because the other one that was going to happen, and it was going to happen with Casino, but he was too young, was um, Henry Cavill. So Henry Cavill, when, when Casino came out, Henry yeah. Cavill was twenty-two, Two. and it was literally neck and neck between Daniel Craig and Henry wow. Cavill. And then, um, and then they were like, you know what, dude, you're you're just a touch too young. Henry Cavill is a bit too. He's too big Perfect. at this point now. <laughs> like he's. 
Superman is huge. Yeah, like, he's, dude, he's, you need to slim up a bit. Bond needs to look slightly vulnerable, and I do really? not think you don't think Henry. I don't Cavill think Henry Cavill off. looks vulnerable at all. He's, Henry Cavill is a man that looks the, like he does his taxes on time. <laughs> He's a perfect specimen of a man, <laughs> Henry Cavill. Like, if you want to be like, what is the what is what is, what is a man? The chiseled man? What is the chiseled man? Yeah. What is the perfect like for a, some kind of like encyclopedia that we send out to space? This is it is Henry Cavill. Really, Henry Cavill? He's a good looking dude. He is fit as shit. He is, isn't he? What is he's probably he's Christ. probably six foot on the nose, maybe even a bit four. He's probably I six reckon, two, six I reckon three. If you if you're if you've got a picturesque per- person of a man, mm. it is Ron Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's it's side by side. <laughs> it's like you have one version. This one is version. a man that spent his life achieving physical perfection. Perfection, and then you have what everyone else is like. <laughs> Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson. How, I need to find out how tall Henry Cavill is. I was thinking the other day. I do you know what sequel I I am if if I could pick a film that could have Nick. If you would like a film to have a sequel, what is it? Mm. Oh, we were talking about this the other day at work. Oh, yeah. Pick a film, Tice, that you would like to just randomly oh. say, okay, give me a sequel to that. And mine is The Man from Uncle. Oh yeah, good oh, choice. I, w- I would love that. Uh, yeah, I, that was that was a Fuck, movie was, definitely was, that was good enough to warrant a sequel. So it's unfortunate good, that nobody man. saw it. I know, um, no one's going to see it. Yeah, I'll have to think about that one, man. All right. So, Ty, who's your Bond? Come on, oh. I need that question answered at least. Um, all right, all right. I'm thinking. Give me I'm someone. Thinking. Give me um, someone. Is it a Daniel Radcliffe? Do you no. go young Bond? No, it's got to be British. It's got to be it? British. It's got to be British. You kind of a you kind of a J- George Lazenby. It just didn't work. Do you know George used to punch his stuntmen? Do you know that? That's amazing. <laughs> he literally used to like Good punch them. On him. They used to go up to him and like full Gimli style and go, "Dude, can you not hit us? We'll we'll duck, but can you not? Hit, can you try and miss us? Yeah, is what just we're give saying. Give it a crack. I know. I know it's hard. And like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll do it this take, and he'd still hit them. <laughs> That's messed up. What about Australian? Can we have an Australian? Point? Can we have an Australian? We already you, had. You want, we had Lazenby. Can really, we have another one? You, you want Hugh Jackman? Do you? no. I I now you say it. <laughs> No, 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 he's he's the same. He's, he's too, too. He's too. Um, what about? How about Joel um, Edgerton? Joel Edgerton. I like Joel Edgerton. A really? Lot. Yeah. No, he's not Bond. You know he doesn't have the suaveness. Oh, he doesn't have the suaveness. I reckon he might. Henry Cavill six one, by the way. Six one. Yeah. Hey, that's interesting. I wouldn't. That's nice to know that I. I'm only a couple of inches shorter. I'm shorter than, than Henry yeah. Cavill. Because how tall are you? Uh, I'm five like, eleven. Yeah, I'm, I think we're pretty. I much think we're the same. same yeah. yeah. It's wow. nice to know that I wouldn't like <laughs> you wouldn't have tower to the st- fuck yeah, over stare me. up at him like exactly. a child. Yeah, um, it's not like you're going up against um, uh, Ben Affleck, who's like six four. Is like, he really? Yeah, he's fucking huge. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, Nick, I think that's going to wrap us up on Casino Royale, my man. Casino Royale. That was a lot of fun. I like that. I look forward to our next Bond. Yeah, Bond. Uh, yeah, because it'll be uh, it'll be good. Maybe, hopefully, it'll be one that I haven't seen either, so I'd that'll like be it. brand new and fresh to me. Add another yeah. one off the list. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, Nick, I think it's time we move on to our next segment. Oh, it's segment, the first time yeah. we've done this In all a, year. All year. It's time for What, what Did You Watch This, this Week? week? Um, and so we've got a lot we can potentially talk about. We could do. I'm going to I'm gonna have a scroll and I'm going to pick one. Yeah. I might pick Give me a, a minute. couple, maybe. Oh, you got a couple there. Yeah. Right, I'm not going right. to worry about anything from last year, even though I've obviously seen things from last right. year. And I'm, I'm not, not, not going to go any because I'm I'm smack of the, in the middle of nominations right now, Ty, so I'm not going to talk about any I'm of those. I'm also not going to talk about any of those. Um, all right. I've got a couple of things I can talk about. All right. Um, let's have a look. What's worth talking about? Actually, do you know what? I am going to do a little bit of a wrap up of things that I've seen. Oh, go on. This year that um, I, this I think year are, is worth mentioning. All right. Things that I'd watched for the first time. Okay, go. Um, I watched uh, Cloud Atlas for the first time. Wow, really? Yeah. I want to give that a shot. Any I, good times? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Actually, really? I thought it was really interesting. Awesome. It's, it's long. It is ambitious as fuck. It is kind of bonkers, and yeah. you've got to be in the right mindset for it. Sure. But I found it just fascinating. Go along for the yeah, ride and I you'll have really, a ball. I really, I really did. Really? And there's a lot of fun to be had in is just... It, is it fun? Like, is it funny? It looks very serious It's pretty me. serious, yeah. But yeah. there's a lot of fun to be had in, like, spotting all the actors, how oh, they, okay. all play, they all play different characters in different time zones. So even if you're kind of not digging it, okay. you can kind of just enjoy those elements to it. I found it to be really just... Cloud Atlas. Very... Um, very thoughtful entertainment. Like okay. you end up, you're sitting down and you end up having a big kind of uh, overwhelming experience when it comes to like 
you know, the meaning of life in big air quotes. You know what I mean? And it's, yeah. I think any movie that takes that goes, you know what, we're going to tackle something like this and really try and kind of what's it all about, man? Right. Like, Right, you kind of you you gotta give it cred for that. So I, I think nice. it's 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 shot fucking beautifully, and it's um yeah very entertaining. Okay, um, what else you got? I've got tons. You got um, tons. All right, well I only got two, so maybe you do. I'll do three. a couple, you... and then you do two, one, and I'll do a couple more. You do your other. Are one, you serious? And I'll do a couple more. Only real quick, Christ. real quick. How long do you think this show goes for? It goes for three hours. Oh God! Um, um, all right. Well, mine was it was a little bit of a it was a little bit of a gamble, but I I love the actress and I wanted to give a shot. Yes. Which is um 2018's uh, redo of Tomb Raider with um oh, Alicia yeah. Vikander. So I, I wanted to give this. Show, I'm a big fan of the games. I love the games all the way through, and I just wanted to see what what difference they could bring, especially because uh, Walton Goggins was the villain. I was all in. As soon as I knew that he was the villain, I was like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Um, it wasn't too bad. Look, it's a bit of fun in there. It's got some full-on action sequences, like set yeah. pieces that will really go, how the fuck did they do that? Oh, that's cool. But, um, but yeah, I, I didn't mind it. It was all, all right. right. It was not bad. And I'll watch Alicia Vikander in anything. She's great. I think she's got... Mad shop. She's going to go a long way. Yeah, She's fucking rad. I, I, I think because the reception of that was so muted, I kind of just didn't bother. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people did. Like no one, no one came out of it. It was, it was a mediocre kind of rating. Everyone was, ah, oh, yeah, it was all right, but I didn't mind it. I, it's, it set it up for something, something bigger. Sure. Yeah. Oh, but that's yeah. interesting. Tomb Raider. Um. All right. I'll do. I'm gonna. I'll do four all up. So I'll do two now. All right. Um, let's talk about Mandy for a little bit. Oh, okay. Because uh, I haven't, well, we haven't had yet. a good chance Don't, to no talk spoilers. about Mandy. No, no spoilers. Here we I'll go. give no spoilers. All right. Mandy. All right. Um, Any good toss? Do you give it a thumbs up? Oh, it definitely gets a thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, it's a really, uh, it's a very kind of uh, disorientating <laughs> movie experience. Right. Um, it's it's use of like neon coloring and it's very strange cinematography and directional choices. Yeah. Um, it, it puts you in a really weird kind of mindset while you're watching it. Okay. And I think that's what the director wants. But unfortunately for me, I found it a little kind of, um, I feel like it separated me from the movie a little bit. Okay. Um, it's the kind of movie that it's very hard to completely lose yourself in. Because it is so, it is making so many choices that are so d- deliberately designed to make you lose yourself in the movie. Right. That I became so aware of it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I, it's almost like I think it would benefit, it is the kind of movie that I think would benefit seeing in a cinema, but almost by yourself in a cinema. Right. Like, I think That'd you be scary self It's pass. like, Full pass. yeah, it would be. And this, this, there is some <laughs> really scary stuff in this yeah, movie. Yeah. Like, Was it scary? Uh, there's stuff in it that is scary, yeah. yeah. There's stuff in it that's some really extreme moments of violence. Did it lean heavily on the supernatural element? Because there's a, no, you get a little bit of that just, in, the, in the trailer, no? It's I, They kind of explain away the supernatural stuff a little okay. bit. Um, to, to, it's for that it's not actually a supernatural. But, well, it's supernatural in, to a degree, but never in any kind of like... Like, they're not Cenobites. Like, okay. you know <laughs> what I mean? The creatures that we saw. like yeah. But they... they could have elements of it couldn't exist in the real world but yeah. they're not setting it entirely in a fantasy world okay yeah yeah um yeah there's some extreme moments of violence i think nick cage is doing some really interesting stuff in it it's a really <laughs> interesting performance yeah um it's good for but it's definitely good it's not bad nick cage by any stretch right but he also allows himself to do some of his weirder kind of in, okay. indulge himself, himself, himself a little bit yeah lets um, himself off the leash but this in this circumstance it works really well and nick I think. cage off the leashes exactly yeah but that's what i mean like okay. nick cage off the leash in this kind of movie works okay. straight um yeah I, it's just it's such a strange movie experience that i think watching it at home kind of Ruined it because oh wow you really? couldn't allow yourself, you couldn't immerse yourself to just be completely immersed right. in it. Yeah. Did you watch this in the dark, Tyson? No, it was day. It was during the, it was day. During the day. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think that's like it was. You know, I didn't have like the sun beaming in or anything. Yeah, yeah. But so much of it is designed to disorientate and to make you feel so you need to the be hallucinogenic qualities. Yeah. It's almost like you need to watch it in a fucking three D goggles or something. Oh, like, okay. So that's like the VR, only almost. thing that You're is in, in your VR. yeah. Right. Um, Shit. Because I think in that circumstance it would work really well. 
Um, but I definitely recommend seeing it. I don't think all of it necessarily works 100%. Okay. I think it's on the, cards. the ending is not it's super cards. great, I don't think. Okay. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think it sticks the landing, but yep. I, there's a lot of really great stuff going on in it. Okay. Um, nice. What else? Very quickly. Go on. Because um, I want to, uh, I'll mention the quick one that I can just talk about briefly. Yeah. Um, I rewatched got? The Burbs. Tom Hanks. Yeah. I have How long has it been seen The Burbs? I've only seen half of The Burbs. Oh, right. Yeah. And it's always been uh, uh, one on the list. It's been on my list of things to watch to finish The Burbs. And, uh, I love I I remember that that uh, VHS cover is burned into my brain. Oh yeah, that's a, it's an Always. absolute classic VHS cover, isn't it? Yeah, like, so good. I would. That's that's a poster. That's that, a that's a good poster. That's to a have. great poster. Yeah. Uh, this is peak Tom Hanks. This is yeah. like this is the best era of Tom Hanks. <laughs> Still doing comedies. The the absolute best, most comforting presence in a film. Yeah. Like when I see eighties Tom Hanks, like late eighties Tom Hanks. You're I'm like, home. I'm fine. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. Yeah. He is so. There's not gonna be a bum assured scene. of himself like, as a performer at that yeah. point. Um, and it's, I really like the Burbs. I think it's really fun. It's, um, it's. I thought I remembered it being a little bit more bonkers. Yeah. Than it was. Like I remember as a kid watching it and thinking it was kind of outrageous. Yeah. It's. It keeps it on the down low for a lot of the running time. It's okay. not really until the very end. Where it really lets loose and suddenly becomes quite crazy, but um, I, it's surra- like there's such great supporting characters in this, um, Bruce Dern and like Corey Feldman and oh, Corey Carrie Feldman. Fisher, like God. really great supporting actors, yeah. um, that make up for the fact that it's yeah. Who it's, directed the birds? It's a uh, Dante, Joe Dante. Oh, um, golden. Yeah, I think it is Joe Dante. Did I make that up? That's all right. I'll look it up. You keep talking. No, it is Joe Dante. Um, yeah, and so you get these wonderful character actors that. Um, so much of this movie is just people kind of having conversations about the paranoia that they're feeling about these things. Yeah. So you, to have such good actors there that can sell it in a comedic way, it mm. makes it so much more enjoyable than I think it could have been. I can tell why people don't like, why people don't love this film. It's not really well, it wasn't particularly well reviewed. Um, and it doesn't have a, like a highish IMDb rating I mean, at the moment. It's a classic though. I, but I can tell why it's, it's, it's a very particular sense of humor and you've got to have particular sensibilities for it, but yeah. I, it worked for me a treat. I really enjoyed it. Oh, it was man. so good to revisit it after maybe 15, 20 years since Shh. I've seen it. So yeah, it was really fun. Get nice. on it. Burbs. What else you got, Nick? Well, I, I ticked one off the list, which has been on there for a while and I hadn't heard anything, which was good. Yeah. And I watched Sicario Day of Sabado. Ah, yeah. yeah. You're a huge Sicario fan. Massive. Huge. And I know you will be once you, once once you, ch- once you watch, watch it, it. because there, yeah. there's no way that you can't be Ty. So even if I do, you know, put it on the pedestal a little bit, a little bit too much. Um, all right, man. Love now, what you love. In doing this, uh, watching this one, I kind of did expect a little more than I got, but in retrospect went, I kind of self checked and went, No, 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 what I watched was a was a hands down it was a decent film. Um Decent. Decent. Okay. Yeah. Um because I thought it was a little lackluster in mm-hmm. its parts, maybe it dragged a little bit here and there. It's not uh, going into either Sicario the first one or this one, it's not an action packed film. You're not looking it's not uh, a James Bond. It's not something it's more along the lines of heat or something like that. Sure. Um, so, you know, the, the action sequences that happen are very grounded. You're, you're watching almost almost realism. So, so yeah. Um, but this one was good. It really took uh, uh, Josh Brolin's character and Benicio's character and really pushed them in a way that you... Because you didn't know where this was going. Sure. So, yeah, I really loved it. And it set it up because the, uh, the writer-director... Um, uh, has come out and said, no, 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 I've written this as a, as a trilogy. So it is, we do have a third one coming, which he set, it up, he set up something that if it's going to pay off is so well. And this movie was great. You were really invested. Like, I was invested and that's why I think I, I was invested in the characters and that's why I think I was let down a little. But then in retrospect, came, came back and went, no, 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 this is, this is such a great film. Yeah, cool. So, right. yeah, so, I didn't realise that it was um, Taylor Sheridan that wrote the Sicario movies. Yeah. He's come up. Multiple times on our show. On, on, our, t- on our show, We has. are a big fan of his. Um, but yeah, such a great supporting cast as well. Jeffrey Donovan. Do you know, if I say that name, do you know who he is? Uh, I know his face. You know his face. No, I've seen yeah. him, yes. Because he's, su- he's such a great actor in this. Also, Matthew, oh, yeah, Matthew Modine. Right. Shea Wingham. Matthew Modine. Yeah. Is he, is he 
do we like Matthew Modine? I feel like he's just one of those guys that's it's been just around a, it's forever. Just an off. He, well, he's in. He's how, in is he, how, how does he have a, have a career? <laughs> hey man, if you need a, if you need a man in a suit, he's the guy you go to. I'm pretty sure. He's, he, yeah, he does. He's a the, man. He's he a man a in a suit. Well, he does a suit well. And I don't know how to say his name. Shaya Wigham. He's from. I know him from. Um, oh yeah. From. God I know damn exactly it. who you're talking about. Uh, Boardwalk uh, Empire. Yes, that's what I know him from. Yeah. And he, if he gets used well, he he's so good at what he does. He's a great little character. Yeah, actor. yeah I'm a big fan of his. But um, but yeah. So that's what you got. This this movie, you get a lot of a lot of char- character acting. But yeah, really good. Well, um, I give it a watch, man. Obviously, I'll catch up with him eventually. Mm. Um, I do need to watch the first one first. Please do. Um, and then I'll definitely get onto this one. Right. Well, last one, Tyson. Last one got? that I think everyone needs to stop what they're doing and watch this film. Right. Wow. Uh, it is a the Netflix original. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, whether or not I. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best film I've seen in the last however long, right. but as far as like something that just needs to be seen, yeah. Fast especially eight. like... Is it called Fast 8? No, it is not Fast 8. <laughs> uh, especially if you are an action film uh, aficionado, which I suppose we can call Ooh, ourselves that. What have you watched, Tash? Um I watched the movie called The Night Comes For Us. It's a Netflix original. Okay. Um, it's uh, directed by a guy called uh, Timo... Tajanto, yeah, um, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but he also directed uh, Headshot, which was another movie that popped up on Netflix right. uh, a couple of years ago. This is an action film. It's got Iko Awai in it from the Raid movies. Yeah, a um, couple of people from the Raid movies actually. Um, How good are the Raid uh, Joe Taslim as well, who's one of the guys from the Raid. Um, Everyone it- should stop and watch this. Really? Oh, one hundred percent. If you are, if you enjoy your action movies. This needs to be seen. It is so brutal. <laughs> it blew my mind. Like, so the Raid movies are really great action movies. So good. Yeah, and they really kind of, they make, I had the same kind of visceral reaction to the fights in this that I did to the Raid movies. Okay. The way that you sit there and you're kind of like, you're oh-ing along with it, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you feel kicks. And you watch them do these just superhuman things and you cannot believe what you're the seeing. Stunts in the shit now, seriously. what this movie combines it with mm. is... <clears throat> Gun Carter. No. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> um, like, horror movie levels of violence. Okay. So, gore? Gore. Is it gore? Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, but it's Blood not... Blood Pack 80s? No, no. no. Well, like, it's probably blood packs, yeah. Okay. But for instance, there is there are fights that take place with uh, a Stanley knife. Shit, okay. And instead of it being one of those movies where, oh yeah, someone cops it with a Stanley knife and then they, they're done they for the fight. No. These people... Keep fighting. They basically keep fighting Fuck. until... Each, every character in this movie keeps fighting longer than I've ever seen any character <laughs> fight in a movie. Like they Stop they hitting get, him, he's dead. They, exactly. <laughs> they get killed like 17 times before they actually die. It's the closest thing to like a Street Fighter movie where, right. you know when you watch Mortal... You know when like you play Mortal Kombat? Yeah. And it's you like... You do a move and you're like, you are fucking yeah, dead. Yeah, how many times do I have to spear you through the chest? Because I reckon one should have it done, but it only took a little bit of your health. Love this Mortal is essentially Kombat. what this Mortal movie Kombat. does, yeah. is that people are getting like brutally, brutally fucked up right. and still going. And like blood's just pouring out of them and they're like, all right, come on, we're still, I'm still alive, I'm still here. But it, it affects the way they fight though. So they like, you know, they'll strap it up or they'll, they're, suddenly their arm won't be any good anymore. Right. And like, you know, limbs getting broken, people okay. getting stabbed in places that you just don't expect to ever see people get stabbed. Right. But stuff like when they get stabbed, it's, you know, it's the screen, but then it's just pulling that shit out and you're back straight going. back to it. Jesus. And there is blood. <laughs> there is, it is everywhere now that's obviously a certain kind of movie that we love that's true it's also super engaging right. really great story story yeah story that's line, what I was fantastic ask. performance is really great it's a different kind of iwo uh eco yeah he plays a much more uh like a bratty really kind of like self uh self-righteous little shit bag oh, okay um oh, nice. and it's a really interesting character choice for him because he he thinks he deserves all this credit and all this esteem yeah. and he doesn't have it and it really affects his personality. Um, 
and uh, it's a it's about basically a, a a guy who used to be part of like a, a death squad kind of thing who right. instead of killing this girl this young girl one day basically snaps and is like I can't do this anymore and so kills the rest of his death squad and tries to rescue the girl right and so the guys that hired this squad now are after him right um and it just basically and it's it's super engaging really great characters the fight at the end between those two guys from the raid yep. goes for about 25 minutes and no cuts. Oh well, there's cuts, there's cuts, but I've never seen anything like it. Like it's on par, if not better, than anything I saw in the raid films. It and as far as like the progression of people, like the way you know when you watch a, a movie fight, yep, and it's like, oh, this guy's winning. Now this guy's winning. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy's winning. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a better version of that. Like the way they show right. people so, re- kind of getting the upper hand and maintaining it and then losing it for a second right. and but getting it back. Oh, man, it was something else. I really loved it. Nice. The Night okay. Comes Fast, it's just on Netflix. It's R-rated, 100% R-rated. Do not watch this. If Fully you are, R-rated. If you are a child or <laughs> around children, do not watch this movie. It is, Please don't have this on. But it's something else, man. Nice. I reckon you will love it. I, I reckon you'll love it. Really? Yeah. All right. I will put it on my list. Full stamp of approval. Full from stamp. Full stamp. Not yep. even half. No. All right. Well, let's uh, let's quickly wrap it up with. Uh, it's time oh. for some. Christmas times. Oh, nice. I haven't done that for a while. I need to warm up. Warm up a bit. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, with. With the fact that our feature prez is uh, our first Bond movie, me and Tice thought we'd we'd, uh, we'd get you all to tune into Stan or get Stan if you don't have it because Stan, Stan the man, Stan the man, which is the Australian streaming service, uh, decided to have uh, to buy out all the Bonds, so you can watch absolutely every single Bond yes. film. So they did this once before. This, oh, really? Yeah, Stan, did? Stan had them for probably I'd say about two years ago. Now they had them for a short period of time. Okay, and, all of them. And, yeah, and I tried to. That's when I tried to kind of watch through because I was like, oh, they'll always have them, and then they got rid of them, and I was very Bastard. disappointed. Right. So well, it's awesome that they're back. Watch them quickly before they may disappear. Yeah, so again. I don't know how long they're going to have them for. It's definitely I don't think this is like the Disney thing where it's no. just going to they're going to be the distributors of Disney in Australia. Okay. It might be, not be around forever, so, so get them in, get them watched. Yes. Pumpkins and so forever. they're all they, there. They're Nick, all there. Yep. Which is there one in particular you'd like to recommend though for the people at home? Mine is going to be it's I'm going to I'm going to cuz it's probably the one that I've I can't be the one I've watched the most. I go to, I go to bat for Tomorrow Never Dies. I I like Tomorrow Never Dies. It's it's not too it's Pierce's second. It's not too hokey. Um the the villain is a bit too um Oh, this is the Jonathan Price. Well, Dom- oh, this is the Jonathan Price. Is so it? I've been confused. Yeah, I've got this and World Is Not Enough. Oh, okay. Like they've moved into one movie into my <laughs> head. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I'm a big fan of, of Tomorrow Never Dies. It's it's such a great. There's so many great pieces, and it's got that like they're really letting him fly with the massive. Like he's driving a tank at one point, and all of goes into a hovercraft, and it's it's badass. Like it's so good. It's classic Bond. There's so many. Moments in this movie, Great. like it's it's so good, yeah, awesome. So yeah, tomorrow never dies All for right. me. I, look, I, t- yeah, I'm I want to go back it. a little bit. Yeah. Ninety-seven, ninety-seven, man. That's madness that that's twenty-two years old. <laughs> that's disgusting. I can't believe Pierce only did four. I feel like he'd done way more. Yeah, it feels like more with Pierce Brosnan, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Um, well, I'm going to go back all the way. So I'm going to say, oh, do it, uh, because like I, said I haven't before, seen it yet. I think if I had to choose my favorite, I'd probably say From Russia with Love. From Russia with Love. Um, I like because it. it's it's still it's not quite Doctor No. Doctor yeah. No, I just don't. I sixty three. Doctor No is a bit more of a kind of like an experiment to me. Like watching okay. it, it was a bit kind of like a novelty. You were just like, oh, hey, it's the first Bond movie. Not all of it works. Yeah, some of it works. Sure. Like there's a really overly extended scene of them just kind of of him just walking along a beach, like running, <laughs> like. And hiding from the occasional soldiers that walk past. Yeah. The actual breaking into Dr. No's lair in Dr. No f- yeah. feels like it goes for like an hour and a half. <laughs> um, and it's because it's so, it's just, really, it's I such old school 60s filmmaking. So it's really static. And, yeah. but you see like the entirety of him like trotting along the beach at some point. From Russia with Love felt a lot more focused and really yeah. like there is a sequence on a train in that that I was just riveted and could not be dragged away from it. Right. Um, I think it's it's Bond before it became Super Bond, which I sure. think Goldfinger 
did did yeah that's where it became really like Gadgets gadgety and, and uh you know kitschy this just stays back from that a notch and it stays okay. as a really kind of effective spy thriller nice. um the villains are great brutal sean connery's on fire cool. um yeah really highly recommend it so that's from russia with love okay I like it. Yeah. So do you have a favourite Bond? Is that your favourite Bond, though? I guess so, yeah. yeah. I guess if I had to choose one, that'll yeah, Skyfall. I think, yeah, I think mine is Skyfall. Skyfall. I don't know what Skyfall. I said. Skyfall. Uh, mine is Skyfall. Skyfall, I feel like, was the most, like, I walked away from Skyfall just being like, well, that, that was that the was fucking, fucking greatest best. movie. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And it was all because of the walk, the monologue and the walk. I can't get that out of my head. Yeah, right. The fact that he just left the shot and just went, no, 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 we're going to get you there way over there. Start talking from there, though. Yeah. And just keep walking. Fuck, that was good. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Tice is yawning. It's time for bed. It is time for bed. It Nick, is. remind the people where they can find our show, though, before we go nine eyes. Absolutely. Tice, um, you can find us anywhere, really. Mostly where, where <laughs> podcasts are found. We, but, you uh, can't find us in, in, like... In the fridge. <laughs> exactly. You can't find us in the fridge. We won't be in the fridge. But, um, but yeah, uh, iTunes, TuneIn Radio. Stitcher. Stitcher. YouTube, the other one. Um, if you wish to uh, give us a little bit of cash, Radio Public, Radio Public, get on, Radio Public. Get on that one. Um, but apart from that, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter. We will be posting a lot of posters coming up because we just did Bond, and the next week's one is is catastrophically massive. Yeah, so, well, then I guess, um, no, let's well, we'll just say, uh, make sure that you do, yeah, do like and subscribe, and any kind of reviews, if you feel like taking your time out of your day to write a review for us, that we would, would be fantastic. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yes, next week, Nick, we've got a very nice. exciting episode. Uh, so we're joined by um, friend of the podcast, Is Adam it? Stolfo. Adam, yeah, fantastic. From, um, uh, now, from podcast Real Chats? From the Real Chat podcast. Yeah. So uh, Real Chat podcast is a great, uh, another Australian-based movie podcast show that I yeah. recommend thoroughly. So get on board and have a bit of a listen to that. Get on he's it. coming on the show and he's coming to talk about his favourite movie and one of our favourite movies. Jesus. Back to the Future. Like top 10 you're talking. You're yeah, talking a oh, top, definitely. it's in my top 10. This definitely. Thing. Like, there's no way that it's not. Such an influential movie on my life. Yeah, hundred percent. Huge. Uh, having already rewatched it, I can say it's amazing how much of that movie has just leaked into my day to day life. Right, like yeah. lines of dialogue, uh, like, physical reactions to <laughs> things. Like yeah. I think I do the Doc Brown, <laughs> like <laughs> as my surprised face most yeah. of the time. Yeah, um, yeah. I just I you know nice. I can't wait to talk about this movie, and I'm so excited to have Pretty Adam much. on the show with us because it's uh, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be great. So tune um, in next week. And we'll uh, we'll do that. We will do that. Awesome. All right, Nick. Tyson, it's, it's been fun. It's been a blast. Bye, Tyson. Oh, same man. Bye, Bye. 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 <laughs>